I see you've found the swole command again. <laughs> I may have fixed it. I'm not sure yet. I don't think it's in this scene. I don't think I added it to the right scene is the problem. <laughs> I didn't tell it to say that. So I got a new bot. I got a new bot for the uh, sound commands. And apparently that's what it says when they're on cooldown. <laughs> Thanks for testing it. <laughs> cool it, man. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, no, I, I said it. I said it to a cooldown like it was before. Only it's longer this time because people tend to spam that one. They tend to spam the swole, so. It's on a 15 minute cooldown now if you want to set your timer. That one in particular. I don't know why. Get spammed. Hopefully it works. I gotta add it to the scene actually. Hold on, it's on the other scene. I gotta... We gotta copy paste from here. Uh, here it is. I 
think I can just copy paste. Ooh, cancel. Who spams it? Literally everyone. <laughs> Sorry, not, not literally everyone. I can't use that word. People yell at me for using that word. Um, many people, many people in the, in the community really enjoy the swole command. I don't have a, whoa, I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with it. It's just, uh, very loud. Very loud. 79 hours, Panic, you're getting there. You're getting there. I gotta do, I gotta do, like, um, streams like Age does till, like, 5 in the morning. <laughs> and then you'll, you'll be there in, uh, in a few streams. We had that one, one 4 a.m. stream, but, uh, usually they're pretty short, so it takes a while to get there. Okay, let me add this. I think I can just paste it here. Paste. Okay, I'm gonna test the gift bot here. Oh, shit. It works! It works! It works! It's the same program, but a different version. So for some reason, when Twitch did that um, reset of people's uh, stream... stream key? automatically after they had that whole breach, security breach. Uh, the bot just died, and I still don't know why. So hopefully it's good to go now, but I still don't understand why that changing that thing on Twitch's end would have completely prevented the, the bot from booting on my machine. Not really sure what's going on with that, but seems okay. Hopefully it works the same, it has the same functionality as, uh, as it did before. I didn't mean to do the sweepy sweepy. What was that? <laughs> I can't even know what that was like. What the heck was that regarding? In Sekiro? That was so long ago. I feel so long ago, but it was like quote 305. But yeah, happy, uh, happy Thursday, guys. I hope you guys are having a good, good week so far. I've been kind of unproductive. I don't know if any of you guys have been watching the Dota International. I know a lot of people freaking love Dota 2 in the community. <laughs> but even if you don't like Dota, the International has been such a train wreck this year. I feel like I feel like it would be uh, entertaining to people who don't even understand what's going on because this is a multi-million dollar tournament that Valve canceled last year and has had basically two years to prepare for him. And <laughs> despite that, despite that, it still has constant technical issues to the point where it's comical. It's it's like ridiculous. Everything's delayed. There's audio issues. The uh, the interviewers are terrible. Like they, they have this guy for the loser interviews and he is so awkward and basically unable to gracefully interview someone who has just lost the chance at winning millions of dollars in this tournament that they've been preparing for for two years. It's so awkward to watch. So it's been a huge cringe fest. You know nothing of it. You don't really, you don't really need to know. Oh, the other thing, <laughs> the other thing this year that's great. So there's no audience. There was this whole debacle because it was in, um, it was originally in, I believe, Sweden, and then they moved it because Sweden wasn't going to allow there to be a live audience due to COVID restrictions. So they moved it to Romania, and then a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks, maybe like a week, very, not, not too far before it was due to happen in Romania, they, <laughs> Romania went on uh, COVID lockdown, and now they can't allow um a live audience so basically anyone who had made travel arrangements or um bought tickets the event they had to reschedule or just refund all of their stuff if possible i don't even if, know if it's possible with that short notice or if a lot of them are just kind of shit out of luck with the uh with the money they had put into it so the, instead of having a live, instead of having a live audience for it, they have <laughs> crowd-controlled like cheering. So basically, in the game client, people can prompt a like a track 
generic stock sound of people cheering. <laughs> and apparently Twitch cat chat can do it too, but I haven't figured out how yet. So it's just a lot of people just like cheering with these uh, fake voices at weird times. Hello, Howie, how's it going? Thank you, thank you. For the two months, much appreciated. That is a very cute. I hope you are doing cute well. Emote. Lime's love. <laughs> that emote's so cute. Thank you so much for the support. Going well here. I was just ranting about the uh, the Dota 2 International. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but it's this huge multi-million dollar Dota tournament that's going on uh, past few days, and it's it's an absolute train wreck. It's great. Hi, Dork. How you doing? Dork, did you get to try the Monster Hunter Rise demo yet? I, I played a little bit of it last night, and it is amazing. It, it runs so well on PC. I'm so, so excited to see uh, see how the whole the full game is. Look at this little nugget. Ooh. Look at this precious nugget. I have to brush her. Okay. All right. Brushing was requested. Soxman isn't here, though, but Charlie is. So, <laughs> so while she's here, uh, Charlie can. Oh, you used to play the original Dota, oh my goodness. Was it a total clusterfuck back then? I can only imagine, because I played, uh, I played Dota 2 for, from like 2012 to 2016 ish. And it, it always just felt like chaos playing playing in pubs and stuff. It's a fun game, but the community is notoriously toxic. What are we talking about? The Dota International Dork, and also the Monster Hunter Rides demo. I was wondering if you, um, if you tried it yet. Yes! But, um, the Dota International is a train wreck, despite being a multi-million dollar, multi-million dollar, oh, I'm sorry, I booped you, um, tournament. And I find that very comical, that they're having all sorts of technical issues when they had two years to prepare and like $40 million or something. Look. Look at this happy bean. Oh, you can see from the kitchen. Oh my goodness. The dream. So you can watch Twitch while you're cooking and stuff. <laughs> oh, you know the Dota, the Dota song's so catchy. That song makes me feel super old though because they're, they're talking about Ventrilo in it. And I, kids these days, kids these days don't even know what Ventrilo is. They're all about Discord. Man, thank God for Discord. Any of you guys use Ventrilo back in the day? Or like, I forget the alternatives, but Ventrilo was popular for multiplayer games. Skype. Skype was really awkward. You preferred tower defense mods at that time. Uh, Warcraft 3 ones, Stark? Oh, you've been at work. Are you gonna try it this weekend? Hi. It's definitely worth checking out just to see how your computer will run it, and because it's it's really fun. <laughs> just sits here admiring Charlie. She appreciates the admiration. I would give her the shrimp that you requested right now, but she is very content, and the shrimp is over there. Not on Bnet. You went to military for high school, so we had a team of five dudes from your unit versus another. Oh, so you'd actually play like LAN? <laughs> the they uh, have different AI for uh, Dota 2 bots as well that apparently has beaten Dota professionals. Like they programmed it in such a way that it could it could actually beat a professional Dota player. That's how advanced it was. Oh yeah, Teamspeak was the other one. That was the other one. Okay. They worked okay for the time, but they just feel very dated when we get stuff like Discord now. <laughs> Hi, Twi'lek! Hi, Bujanga, how you guys doing? Uh, <laughs> have you guys recovered from movie night? <laughs> I apologize. I apologize for Mad God. I didn't realize it was gonna be like that type of movie. I got this, like... I got a, I got a, uh, kind of like, um... I didn't realize it was gonna be that type of movie. <laughs> like it's it's a film fest movie, so I, I knew it was probably gonna be a little weird, but it's a uh, it was a level of weird that I was not anticipating for movie night. So next time, next time we'll watch something a little uh, more <laughs> a little more mellow. 
Are Vent Ventrilo and TeamSpeak even still around? I just feel like they're totally outdated by Discord. Maybe if people just don't want to get on a Discord server. You used to use Ventrilo a lot? Were there specific games you played with it, Bishanko? Like, I, I... We used it for Dota briefly. Back in, like, 2012 when we first started playing. It was a LAN party. Nice. Hey, that way you have, uh... No excuses with ping or anything. You can't say you're lagging. If you die, stupidly. Cannot blame lag. Very low latency gaming. Glorious land parties of yesteryear. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Even, like... It wasn't that long ago. We had one in college. I I was in, in school until, like, 2009. And we had one around then. And we did... We had people bring their desktop computers to the to the, the cafeteria. So there were just a bunch of people sitting in the school cafeteria with desktops piled on the tables and people like, what the fuck is going on? I forget what they're playing. Yes, I was there with a friend that wasn't playing. So I'm not the type of person to carry a desktop computer to the cafeteria for a LAN party, but it was fun. You've been trying to, since forever to upgrade your video card. It should work fine, Dork. It's it's very um, very well optimized. Yeah, because it's on the the RE engine. Mad God was great, intense, and not very scary, but fascinating. It's interesting that you guys enjoyed it. It it was it's hard to suss out because <laughs> a lot of people are just like, what the fuck is this movie? Yeah, I think, I think it was a good movie, but it was an odd movie night movie. Because it was so serious. And, um... Artsy, I guess. I, I personally liked it. I liked the animation, but... Um... Again, for movie night, I think stuff that's a little more upbeat is usually better. Mad God was 30 years of psychedelics, probably. You are a fallen bean. It's funny, like, with the face on my shirt, the lady's just, like, being crushed by Charlie on top of her. <laughs> you had a long internet outage since last night, so you just slept early. Oh my goodness, life without the internet. Excuse me. Okay, you, I, think, I think she's had enough. I gotta give her the shrimp, too. Would you like your shrimp? Would you like your shrimp? Would you like your shrimp? I don't know if she'll like the shrimp, but we'll try it. We'll see how she does. You can see it in the distance. <laughs> it's on the floor. Just playing with it earlier. Shrimp? Or do you want shrimp or food? She's feeling lazy. <laughs> Thank you for giving her a shrimp. I think she is very lazy right now. Because she was all tuckered out from playing with it earlier. I took her off her thyroid medicine because she has the procedure on headphone cable is all like I know the picture. Um, she has the procedure for her thyroid on Monday. So I had to stop her medicine the week before. So she's had a little more energy. But that's because she's hyperthyroid. <laughs> that's not normal, apparently. Oh yeah, Mumble! I remember that too. I don't think it was as popular as uh, Ventrilo, but definitely remember that being a thing. Uh, where's my camera? There we go.
You miss LAN parties so much, there really isn't the same- it isn't the same experience gaming with people online. It is really nice being able to game with friends who aren't around anymore, or uh, friends online, something that you obviously can't easily arrange a LAN party for, but it- it- there- <laughs> there's really something else about gaming with people in person and seeing their reactions when you do something. Use it for Warcraft and- oh, Ragnarok Online! Always, always blame lag. That's what I did when I was playing Cuphead with Toodles. <laughs> to be fair, though, to be fair, um, we also played on my account afterwards, and she was lagging too. So there is lag. There is lag playing on remote play together. Unfortunately, use it when you used to play WoW and Rift. Get started using it after being told about it. Yeah, I think a lot of people used it for WoW. It did work pretty well. Your house and your boss's house was wired for 12 person LAN parties. Was that a frequent frequent happening? What's MIRC? Or Merc? People still did that at your community college, mostly laptops, but then the, <laughs> the one guy with the tower that's just flexing, he's like, look at my gaming PC. I can understand a laptop, and the thing is, like, with gaming laptops, a lot of them are so powerful now, you don't really need a desktop if you're gonna do something just to, like use it for LAN parties or something but I guess if people want to play their their uh, shooter I'm trying to get this piece of hair to like behave <laughs> if they want to if they want to play their shooter with max FPS they probably want their their desktop there so they can have like 200 something FPS their desktop and their fancy monitor I assume there's better privacy in those programs. Oh yeah, who knows what Discord's doing with our information? Who knows you like, I, D Discord's creepy. <laughs> like, who even owns Discord now? <laughs> the aforementioned military school gave all of the students laptops to use, and you might have just happened to be a purveyor of finely acquired games. You live about 20 minutes from school, so while well, school internet was restricted. Oh, I see. So you, you got a bunch of games. Did you have the land parties there, too? You don't have Tarits anymore, so his shrimp has to suffice. I do have Tarits! Thank you for uh, mentioning that, Dark Holder. I gotta add them again. I found a treat she can eat. I actually found a treat she can eat, and it stinks. <laughs> I got some. I'll give her one, actually. I got these really smelly treats that are, like, fishy smelling, but she can eat them because they don't have stuff. We'll give her a free treat, because she deserves one. You had LAN parties twice a month through it, but to the mid-90s. To mid-2000s, twice a month, wow. Yeah, so it's definitely rough going from that to, um... To nothing. How's it going? Frozen, Frozen Teach? I hope I'm saying your name right. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. What you streaming? Hi, hi. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm just- I'm playing with- with cat treats right now. <laughs> Trying to give my cat a treat. Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? How's your stream? What's up? Oh, Seb brought you here. Hi, Seb. How are you guys doing? Am I nice? Am I nice? Uh-oh. Now I get a re <laughs> Now we have a reputation to live up to. What if I say something mean? <laughs> She's just sitting over there with her shrimp. Look at my cat. Hold on. L look at Charlie. Look at that bean in the background. She's sitting there with her toy shrimp. She's so cute. She's so cute. But yeah, thank you so much, Seb, for uh, sending folks my way. I hope you had a good stream, uh, Frozen. What were you playing tonight? Or what were you doing? Not everyone plays games. Some people just chat for two hours. <laughs> I don't. I don't know anything about them. She'll become dependent, don't you know? These are expensive treats too, because they're like hypoallergenic. You did the LAN parties from about 10 a.m. Saturday. Ooh, to 6 p.m. Sunday. Oh my god. That's like a full full shindig. That's a party party, not just a not just a LAN party. That's a full-on party. That sounds amazing. I miss people. <laughs> I miss doing things with people. Thanks, COVID. I'm the worst. It's so mean. There are Kirby's. Oh, do you like Kirby? Would you Would you like to see my curbs? Would, 
would you would you like to see my curbs? I can show my curbs. Hi, Draconic. Did oh. I say hi? <laughs> Did I say hi, Draconic? Hello, how you doing? I'm gonna give Charlie some treats in the background. Hopefully you guys can see them. Alrighty. Close up camera. <laughs> she inhaled the treats. <laughs> I gotta get I gotta get like a GoPro to stream Charlie up close. Oh, there goes my speaker. Oh. Everything's falling apart, myself included. It was a good stream you were playing the first maps. Ooh, Planet Zoo! That seems that seems like a fun game. <laughs> like simulation game. I don't think I've ever actually seen someone stream that. Ooh, excuse me. I'm trying to clean up the mess that has been created down here. Ooh, those treats stink. I think they have mackerel in them. They smell like low tide. <laughs> they smell like low tide. Uh, okay, hold on. I don't want to be- I don't want to do too much just chatting tonight because this is a stream for a game that I was fortunate enough to receive a key for, so I do actually have to stream the video game. <laughs> have any of you guys heard of Book of Travels, the game that I'll- that I'll be playing, uh, shortly? I'm curious if any of you guys know anything about it. I know very little, but what I've seen looks really cool. Hopefully it's functional, because I know it had some issues at launch. She smelled it and was like, oh heck you, yeah, mom, give me that Shrimp goodie. If I put the whole bag of it, she'd shove her face in. What's up? Hey, Risu, what's up? What's up, Risu? How you doing? Have you recovered? Risu, have you recovered from movie nights? Have you recovered? <laughs> I have to I have to check in personally with everyone who was at movie night. <laughs> Especially the movie night the movie night after the movie night with the weird uh Virginia reality TV and stuff. I feel like that was scarier than Mad God. He named the he named the bonobos after you. Does he does he think you're a monkey? Is that what, is that what you're trying to say? You're a monkey. Just tired of talking to us. I must actually play the game. No, no, no. I just don't want uh, the devs to see someone is is uh, supposed to be covering their game and they come into my stream and I'm just like showing people my curbs. <laughs> Which, by the way. Someone mentioned Kirby's. We have curbs. We have multiple curbs. We get those curbs. I have a curb on my lap at the moment in the in the shape of a pancake friend. He's very good. This curb has seen a lot of love. <laughs> oh. You have Draconic. What do you know about this game? What do you know about this game so far? And have you played it? Is it on Game Pass? You made a bunch of chili and it didn't bother you. <laughs> it reminded you of the movie. Oh, like Guts or something? Guts or something? How's it going? A uh, large, large visible machine. Book of Travels looks amazing. So you are familiar with it. It uh, is apparently in early access right now. It's a very, it seems to be at a pretty early stage of development and they're trying to test out all, how all the different multiplayer um, aspects and stuff to it work by letting people purchase it and test it out, but um, from what I know of it, it is a, they call it a tiny, tiny online RPG. So in contrast to a massively multiplayer online RPG, this one has you interact with a smaller amount of players. And it's a, uh, oh, excuse me. I'm really trying to get this piece of hair to like calm the fuck down. I'm gonna, uh, I just want to like chop my bangs off. Um, <laughs> apparently, from what I've seen of it, it seems to have kind of journey-esque aspects to it where you will temporarily encounter people in the game world and have very limited means of communicating with them, but they will assist you in your journey, which I think is really cool because I 
love Journey. <laughs> it seems to be inspired by that, but uh, with more players involved and kind of a more uh, RPG aspect to it, so... Hopefully it's good. It uh, did have a lot of issues with the servers from what I read on... Shit is just dropping off my desk <laughs> on the uh, launch day. One moment. I have a, a tiny fan on my camera because it'll overheat if I don't. The DSLR. I really need that to be not uh, falling off my desk. Oh. It's precariously balanced on my second monitor. <laughs> Not the best, but yeah, um, if you stream with a DSLR camera, it can overheat the uh, the motor because they're not really intended to have their, uh, they're not intended to be videoing for that long. You heard curves, no curves. <laughs> you don't think I would say curves? Do you even know me? I had to share... That scooter show with another friend. Couldn't let them miss out. Oh, you shared, you shared the, uh, what was it called? Something rats or opossums or something. Like, I, I honestly have blocked it out after, after that, like, trashy man who was, tra <laughs> that trashy, like, 40-year-old guy who was trying to go to college parties to pick up girls. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Ugh. You haven't played it, you just saw it mentioned in an upcoming indies? Really? Okay. Okay, so it's it's uh, mostly new to you. You don't think Game Pass does early access? I think you are probably correct on that because I don't think it would. Uh... <laughs> I don't think it would go over well. You guys ever read the reviews for games on Game Pass? Most of them, even for completed games, are just constantly ragging on the games for whatever issues they have. I don't think I've seen many positive issue positive reviews of anything on Game Pass. The second map was full of monkeys. You renamed an orangutan with your nickname. <laughs> So just name all the monkeys after yourselves. Not not even uh, not even cute animals. Like uh, do do they have like sea otters? I guess monkeys are kind of cute. Cute apes apes are kind of cute. Depending. So conceptually, it is very interesting. Um, I do think it is still pretty early in development from the sounds of it. Um, but we're gonna try it out. I'll switch over to it. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's functional. <laughs> I didn't really uh, look into it too much outside of um, saying, "Oh, this looks cool. Let me see if I can get a key for it." And they were they were kind enough to uh, to give me a key for it. So we will check it out. Servers suck. Uh oh, they still suck. They still suck. Have you been watching people play it? That sounds bad. Yeah, <laughs> it was uh, it was very uh, hard to watch. But movie night was a fun night overall. It just uh, was the st the stuff that was after was was quality quality cringe. The stuff that was the movie for movie night was also kind of cringy, but in a different way. And it was a uh, uncomfortable, disturbing cringe. Oh yeah, there were a moped gang. Yes, yes, yes. Backwater Jersey, <laughs> Jersey Shore. Right? It did feel like Jersey Shore. <laughs> it was terrible. People can play more about free games compared to if they pay, have to justify their purchase. Um, like people who get keys for games. I try to be honest in what I feel about a game when I get a key for it because that helps the developers, typically. It, it, it doesn't really do any good if you're constantly ragging on the game without offering any sort of positive uh, feedback as to what they can do. But I can... Uh, I, I personally would be more apt to leave negative feedback on something that I pay a lot for and I'm disappointed about. <laughs> like, I've only re- I, you know, I actually- I haven't- I don't think I left reviews for the games that I refunded on Steam. I've only refunded two games in my lifetime on Steam. One of them was Agony in, in more ways than one. Agony was a terrible game. And the second one was Remothered Tormented Fathers, which was also a terrible game. They're both really awful horror games, but I, I should have left reviews for both of them to save people. Save people the, <laughs> the time and money. We had lemurs for cuter stuff. Oh, lemurs are adorable. Servers suck in general. Oh, servers for like all online games. 
or this game in particular. You renamed a lemur with a viewer nickname? So they got the cute, they got the cute monkey. Are they monkeys or apes? I think they're monkeys. Primates. Not really sure the difference. Oh, Game Pass. Well, I guess, I mean, you're paying, what, like 10 bucks a month for Game Pass if you get the basic pass? I don't know why people would complain more about that than uh, games that they spend like 20 to $60 on normally, but... Wait, what? No, Soxman. What are you what knowing about? You don't think you've ever refunded a game? How many of you guys have not refunded a game on Steam? I just... I t <laughs> The way I buy games is... This looks cool, or this is a cool concept. Is she gonna puke back there? What are you doing? She's like in a weird posture. Okay, she's good. She's just cleaning. Um, <laughs> she was just like hunched over, so I thought she was getting ready to, to puke on my bed. Um, d I like games that are conceptually interesting and different, which is what this this one seems to be. Book of Travels. Um, even if the gameplay might not always pan out. So when buying a game like that, it is a little. I feel like it is. A little risky as compared to something that is a more polished experience. For a moment I thought you'd mentioned Giraffe Town. I did not refund Giraffe Town because unfortunately I think I spent two hours alone on the part with the slippery feet. <laughs> so I uh, was not able to refund it. I would have. I would have. I spent $20 on Giraffe Town. <laughs> That is the worst $20 I've spent in my life. <laughs> I really did enjoy Box playing it though, even though he didn't struggle quite as much as I did. Agony was was absolutely terrible. Do you think it looked good, Soxman? I liked the idea of um, exploring hell, but it was just kind of like borderline softcore porny in spots and the gameplay was ass. Lemurs are primates. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Not monkey. You've been told to stop refunding games? Uh-oh, what have you tried to refund? You've never refunded any games. Interesting. So if you guys get a game that's absolutely awful, and you're within the two hour period, you just take it as a loss? Or... You refunded one because they neglected to inform people you needed a specific type of flight stick to play it in a better version of it. Okay, that's definitely understandable if there's a peripheral that's a, that you don't have. Uh, that makes sense. That's something they should tell you up front. You only tend to buy stuff you really want. I do too, Panda, but sometimes it turns out to be garbage. <laughs> you never refunded would do if completely broken, but as long as someone put effort in, you don't mind. So... I, like, the games had effort put into them, but they were just so unbelievably bad that I could not justify spending the money that I did on them. And the devs did some questionable things, if I remember correctly, with Agony. Never refunded on Steam, you did on GOG, though. Wow, what, is uh, GOG's refund policy any good? I, I don't buy on GOG anymore ever since that whole debacle with Devotion. I'm, so, I'm still mad at GOG. <laughs> For the bullshit they did to those poor devotion devs. He saw the Charlie brushies from across the way. Are you getting the audio desync again, Risu? Someone had mentioned that another time. I, maybe it was you. <laughs> someone, someone had audio desync. If you refresh, it might be Twitch. You've only refunded games that don't run. Okay, yeah, that's definitely, definitely understandable. You don't want to pay money for something that doesn't even work. It comes back after 10 minutes. Have you tried turning off, um, I think if you go under advanced options on the video player, have you tried turning off low latency? Because that might help, but then the, it'll be a little bit delayed. You get a free copy of Agony Doubt you'd ever play. Yeah, save yourself the time, Draconic. It's really not worth it. It's it's really uh, not a great game. Like, nothing about it is redeeming. It's just ugly. Twitch gonna Twitch. You played the original game with keyboard and mouse, but in the other version you needed to have it in that. Have that in order to play. Was it like a remake or something or a port? 
You have a con condition where you can't imagine things? Is that is that true? Is that a true thing? He tried to refund a game. It was good for a while, but got abandoned by dev, so... What, uh, what game was it? What did Gog do? <laughs> so, back... Back when, uh, I don't know if you know anything about the game, Devotion, but uh, it was published by Red Candle Games on Steam originally, Taiwanese developer, and it was removed. It was removed um, after getting review bombed by a bunch of angry Chinese gamers because there was something in the game that was making fun of um, the Chinese Xi uh, Jinping. Is that how you say his name? Chinese leader, dear leader. Um, so China got mad about that and review bombed the game and Steam removed it due to pressure. Yeah, the Winnie the Pooh one. So Gog um, made a post saying that they were going to publish it and it was all set, it was ready to go, Red Candle was all set. And then they said, uh, <laughs> they said something like, um, we've heard your feedback and unfortunately we won't be publishing this game anymore. Yeah, they walked it back because the same thing happened. Large visible machine. Thank you. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, for using your Prime on my uh, my channel. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Welcome to the Prawn Stars. I will be playing the game in just one minute. I just had to rant. I had to rant about uh, Gog being shit to uh, these poor devs. I feel like it's different from what Steam did, though, because Steam did not go into it knowing that this was going to happen. But Gog, Gog did. Gog knew what happened to the game on Steam, and they were still like, sure, we can handle it. And then they were like, Haha, just kidding, and walked it back. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Ah! Howie! What are you doing? Toodles, you got here just in time. Hi. <laughs> You got here in time for the congratulations, Howie! Oh my goodness! Thank you so much! We're gifted 10 subs! That is, that is very generous of you. Thank you! And congratulations to uh, Crucifix, Reinfranchments, Gigan, Bum Rocky, Befri, Goose, CDRs, Twi'lek, Monthus, and What's Her Face, aka Mandy. For those subs, I really appreciate it, Howie. Yeah, we gotta strap in, guys. We're gonna be here for a minute. <laughs> congratulations. With the congratulations. 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 Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Congratulations. I gotta turn my AC on because I am getting sweaty one moment. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Toodles is pink on my screen. I think. I think. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. I like. Do, do you guys like the witch hats? I didn't add that. They just added that. They added that on the the uh, program I use. So everything has witch hats. Me too! Oh my god, dorks, dorks sneak in in there with the 28. <laughs> oh, congratulations! Will it give an alert for dork too? Let's see. Let's see if dork gets an alert or if the butt's just like having a conniption from all the congratulations. <laughs> the bot doesn't know what to do with itself. Congratulations! 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 Congratulations. It made it in. <laughs> I honestly thought the bot was just gonna have a conniption and give up. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Dork, for the 28 months. Really appreciate it. You're gifting an- Howie. Howie. What's happening? I'm not even playing the dang game. I gotta play the game. Thank you! Thank you, Hi, for gifting a sub to Bijanga. Thank you, Dork, for the 28 months. And thank you, Chomasuke, for 
for the three months. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. I really was not anticipating any of that. <laughs> Honestly, uh, tonight was uh, starting up a late stream to play this this uh, interesting looking game. But uh, thank you. Really appreciate all that support. That is super nice of you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Confer compression artifacting from the confetti. <laughs> My bit rate. Yeah, AC in Boston in October. Yeah, it's been uh, 80 degrees, like almost 80 degrees, 75 to 80 degrees the past couple of days. So it's been uh, warm, definitely warm for me. They're trying to say gamers were, yeah, ga gamers. The gamers were upset about it. They, uh, they neglected to uh, say specifically Chinese gamers that were uh, very upset about something that the game did in the past that was also no longer in the game and they were just trying to cancel the game because it was Taiwanese developers. It was very political. Congratulations. What's Congratulations. happening? Congratulations. What are you doing, Howie? What the fuck? <laughs> Congratulations. 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 No one left behind in chat. Thank you for gifting a sub to Draconic Dude. Really appreciate it. All very, uh, very deserving people of uh, of subs. Thank you, thank you, guys. Enjoy your subs and Howie. Thank you so much for all the, all the gift subs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut my bangs off. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I always get a little bit flustered when people like support the stream. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to do, <laughs> but I really do appreciate it. And it will go towards feeding that adorable uh, lumpkin back there that's uh that's what i use the stream money for is games to play on stream and uh charlie food <laughs> hope that's acceptable <laughs> hi frogs how you doing hello hello you like toodles reactions toodle has good re toodles has good reactions toodles by the way now that she's here uh, i would just like to let you guys know who are here for the cuphead stream cuphead co-op stream the other night off stream Toodles and I beat Cuphead on expert mode. <laughs> we did it. We beat, we beat, we beat Cuphead. We beat, we beat uh, Cuphead. I said cupcake. It means fake. No, check. You get, yeah. you can check. You can check. Or, uh, no, you can't actually, because it's probably private. She has the, she ha she actually completed the Steam achievements for all this stuff, because she's insane. <laughs> You'll unprivate just for that, okay. Can I show it on the screen? Yeah, she 100 percented Cuphead. We beat, um, we beat Expert Mode together. And then she did the stuff like the pacifist run and guns, which I do not have the patience for on her account. Congratulations! Congratulations! <laughs> congratulations! Congratulations! Time's out. Congratulations! Owie. Congratulations! Congratulations! Thank congratulations. you! Thank you so much for gifting us sub to frogs! Oh my god, I think everyone is subbed to the chat. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, frogs, welcome back to the Prawn Stars. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Thank you. Thank you. I want to play the dang game, but stuff keeps happening. <laughs> so I've only checked. <laughs> um, yeah, should I... Can I show your profile on stream? People can judge you because you have like 50, um, 50 things of Kim from <laughs> Disco Elysium. Best character. I don't know if I can like capture someone's profile. Oh, I can see it. The 100% achievement. One moment. Let me see if I can capture it. So you guys can see it too. You made it public. Okay. The proof. Browser? Wait, no. Is it a game capture? I'm just going to display capture it. Please, no docs. Please to no docs. Uh, display capture. This is important. I swear I'm gonna play the game, but this is important. Enhance. See? <laughs> she got- she completed it, but we got the, uh, beat all things on expert together. And I may have beaten one of the, um, one of the bosses to get an A for her because <laughs> the bee is a bitch the bee is an absolute bitch but these emotes are really nice i'm glad you enjoy them toodles made them but anyway oh yeah the pirate fucker i forgot about him 
Captain Briny Briny Beard. <laughs> you have to help me finish on my account though, Toodles. I can't do it alone. <laughs> I try. I have tried. But I'm definitely burnt out on Cuphead for a little bit after that. We played for like we played for like 70 hours or something. Absurd. And I got a Cuphead sweatshirt! Oh, I can show you my sweatshirt. I got a Cuphead sweatshirt because the addiction hit hard. Bees? It does sound like a complete shit show that still has a long way to go, but I will play it and pass my judgment instead of reading Steam reviews. <laughs> How you doing? I got a key for it, so it is uh, not risky for me to check it out and see how it is. Look at this. Yes, we're addicted to, cu to Cuphead. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how look at how cute this is. Look at how cute this sweatshirt is. It's Grim Matchstick! Doesn't the navy look good? I'm really happy that it looks good. <laughs> Did you think it wasn't gonna be good? Did you think it wasn't, wasn't gonna be good? Play 70 hours of Rise with you? I probably will. I probably will. Play the game! Excuse me! Excuse me, just cause you sub doesn't mean you can boss me around. I'm not gonna shut up. <laughs> I appreciate the sub, but... I can't tell if you're joking with the play the game thing or impatient. I'll play the game when I play the game. If you're new here, um, we usually talk for about an hour and then I play the game. Because I can't focus on playing the game if people are talking to me, usually. Professional streamer. You should buy Cuphead Bees, it's amazing and also incredibly frustrating. Would highly recommend it. We had so much fun. <laughs> it's very addicting. You thought it would be cute, but the shade is cuter than you thought. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice dark blue. It's a nice dark blue. Um I, I like it because I have a lot of black shirts already, as you can tell. So it's a little different. It's okay to boss shrimp baby, I'll do it, but don't do it too hard, yeah. Always joking. Okay, good to know. Good to know. That's fine then. That's fine. I just don't know you well enough to know if you're joking because there are people who come in and then that are like, why aren't you playing the game? Why aren't you playing the game, streamer? I do play the game. I do. I just, we get a little distracted here. <laughs> Hi, Ghost. You're new here. I've never seen you before. Howie! Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations. Excuse me? Congratulations! <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me, thank you for gifting us up to bees. Bees, welcome back to the Prime Stars. Enjoy. Enjoy those emotes. Thank you, thank you. When are we doing Faz? Oh my god. Toodles has some feelings about phasmophobia. <laughs> but yeah, if any if anyone wants to play a 70 hours of Monster Hunter Rise with me, that that can be arranged. That can be arranged sometime. Probably more than that. I'm probably going to play a couple hundred hours on PC uh, when the expansion hits. Play with a friend if you want your friendship to possibly end. I feel like our friendship uh, grew stronger by playing Cuphead, though. <laughs> by surviving that game. Might not happen for everyone, but I feel like uh, it was a bonding experience in its own way. A masochistic bonding experience. I think it's pretty much always on sale on the Steam sale. It's already pretty cheap. It's a, it's a very cheap game for how many hours of pain you get from it. I only play good games. Uh, <laughs> debatable. <laughs> you should get back to Cuphead one of those days. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are on that path. They started it and they got stuck somewhere and then they didn't finish it. I was there too until co-op happened. Co-op's just more fun. Game is made in Switch, new people. <laughs> you thought we were playing a video game here? You thought wrong. Why aren't you playing the game, though? We gotta get the chatting out of our system. You're gonna watch the uh, the Evangelion movies next weekend. Uh, let me know how there are bees. Let me know. I, I saw the first few ones, but not the most recent one. 
I'm not a just chatting streamer, I'm an everything streamer. I'm not even a variety streamer, just everything. I was thinking about this the other day, it's been like... Games, chatting, karaoke, piano, bass guitar, like, model building, like, what- I don't know what I haven't streamed other than being outside, <laughs> like, an IRL stream. Are they bad feels? Wait, what are- or what bad feels? And what about worlds? Oh, do you need help with worlds? That is a potential. That, that's a potential thing I can do. You're gonna make a just chatting game and put it on Steam? You can do just, uh, just chatting simulator 2021. You're hoping to get rides, but you don't know if your IRL friends are gonna get it. Well, if your IRL friends don't get it, your internet friends will uh, will gladly play with you because I definitely, definitely will be, will be playing it. I don't know about streaming it until the DLC comes out, but um, yeah, anyone is anyone is welcome to play with us. There will be a few of us playing it at, at least. You bought Disco Elysium today. Oh my goodness, have fun with it. It's an incredible game. It's an incredible game. Thank you for following a large visible machine. Thank you. I'm sorry uh, for for not playing the game. <laughs> she seems half happier after playing Cuphead with Toodles Shrimpy than Doodle. before, so it couldn't have been that bad. I think I'm just still delirious from the sleep deprivation. Hi, Retro. How you doing? How oh, is it going? Yeah, I think um, I'm still delirious because there were several nights that we were up till like 4 a.m. <laughs> playing Cuphead. <laughs> I'm still catching up on the sleep I missed. You only want to play Rise because it has Camellius in it. Rise is incredible on its own, but Camellius is definitely a, a good boy. You're gonna request vacation time for Rise how long? So it comes out in January. Hopefully I'm employed by then. I might not be able to, to play right away, but it. Uh, I also have played it like 200 hours of it on the Switch, so I'm not as... I don't have the compulsion like people who haven't had a chance to play yet. Cookie Graveyard streamer, yes. Don't forget Cookie Graveyard. Sexy Lobster stream. Oh, to help you just get through the game, gotcha. Gotcha. Nothing wrong with worlds. Nothing wrong, it's just a- wait, wait, where are you at, Sloxman, in the game? You'll definitely play Rise on PC, but you never finish Fatalis, you have to get that done too. <laughs> do I have to get- do I have to, uh, do I have to carry both you and, and, uh, Soxman through Fatalis? Is that where, what's going on here? Am I gonna carry you through Fatalis? <laughs> Fat beating Fatalis in Monster Hunter World is my proudest video game achievement solo. That's the, he was so hard. That was the hardest thing I've ever done in a video game. I don't know why it's so difficult. Even more than, like, I've played, I've played Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne. It's even harder than anything in those games. That free and you're subbed. Yes, Howie was uh, generous enough to gift you a sub. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Shrimpy aquaponics stream What the heck is an aquaponic? You still haven't figured out wire bugs. They take a while to get used to if you've played a lot of worlds. The mobility is weird. What employment are you looking for? Thank you for asking. That, that's uh, something that I've been spending a lot of time trying to figure out. Um, I am hopefully looking to get into proofreading. I went to school for journalism, but uh got a little bit lost along the way and ended up working at a bakery for like 10 years and then as an administrative assistant somewhere and then COVID happened so i think like a lot of people during the pandemic i i'm gonna oh my god this fuck this fucking <laughs> this piece of hair is driving me nuts sorry <laughs> Um, I, during the pandemic, I feel like a lot of people kind of reassessed their priorities if they had a chance to. A lot of people didn't, unfortunately, still had to, uh, to work, but, um, I quit my, my job, administrative assistant job, to not get COVID because it was a high risk, um, a risk situation. A lot of people coming in and out of the office and it wasn't worth it back then for what I was getting paid and stuff, so... Um, decided I should probably use my degree at some point with something writing related <laughs> and uh, have been trying, trying to get into proofreading. I took a proofreading course that I keep procrastinating on the final exam for, but once I do that, if I pass, I get to, um, I get access to a proofreading job board 
to start picking up freelance work. And then we're gonna go from there. I just need experience. Gainful employment, yes. The thing is like, the thing that's hard for me is proofreading and editing have a lot of overlap and I'm not sure which one I wanna get into. I think I'm a better editor than I am a proofreader because I'm pretty heavy handed. Proofreading is usually pretty light. <clears throat> Excuse me. What weapon did you use to solo fatty in world? I used the Raging Brachidios Greatsword. And I was very bad at the Greatsword. <laughs> but it was the only way to do enough damage. I didn't have a prayer with anything else. I tried Hunting Horn, I tried Insect Glaive. Um, and Greatsword just did the most damage. But I would, I would definitely recommend Greatsword if you're actually good with the weapon. Excuse me. He had a full set of Fatalis armor and was farming some gems for it, then he started playing something else. Was having fun with sticky builds against Fatalis? Playing a gunner against Fatalis is just asking to be one shot, I think. I couldn't do it. Proofread chat for practice, that would be a nightmare. We'll do a, we'll do a proofreading people's Fiverr, um, Fiverr pages stream. Proofreading should be cool, maybe try to contact some European Asian game studios, see if they need help with more editing work as well. Lots of studios could use a native English speaker. Yeah, honestly, um, Visible Machine, it's, it's good that you say that. I was thinking about potentially contacting uh, indie game studios, because I've noticed most of them don't seem to have a proofreader. <laughs> they don't seem to have anyone go over their games because there are so many typos in the scripts for games that I've played. I play a lot of indie games, and uh, as far as getting experience for that stuff, I could do it for cheap to start with. You're able to solo him with LBG. Wow, that's impressive. I would get hit way too much. I need. I. I. I had divine blessing five and a great sword. <laughs> no one needs to find their actual job before they're thirty. Well, I, um, unfortunately, I'm thirty-three, so <laughs> I'm a little bit behind schedule. <laughs> But I've been, I, I have um, I have health issues and stuff that I've been dealing with, so I don't feel too 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 upset about it. And a lot of people did never find like not to be depressing. A lot of people never find their calling or anything like that. So I just like to find something I'm happy doing. If the proofreading isn't light, try leaving a little longer for the yeast to rise. Nice, a nice baking joke. <laughs> Could never stand great sword in Monster Hunter. It's a different playstyle. It's 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 way more deliberate than a lot of the other weapons, the lighter weapons. Proofreading for Kojima. Unfortunately, I think Kojima's games are probably pretty well proofread. Hi, Chad. How you doing? Hello, hello. Chad, how you feeling after uh, after movie night the other night? You doing okay? I think I'm checking in with everyone to make sure. Make sure they're okay after Mad God. <laughs> Mad God and uh, Moped, Virginia Moped game. No one needs to find their actual job until they're 34. Okay, good. I got a few months. We got a few months before the birthday. Your main weapon was great sword. It was going to kill Fatalis with that. Sticky was just... Oh, for farming gems. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, no, great sword's a great choice for uh, soloing him ghost because you can kind of lead where his head goes and then just boop him. Kojima does his own proofreading, I would not be surprised. I don't think he has anyone edit his stuff. You're more traumatized by Moped Gang than Mad God. <laughs> That's saying something. That's really saying something. Some of the- I mean, I guess it was more traumatizing because it was real and not animated. Like, I don't want to remind people of the, uh, the scene in the Moped Gang show of a man doing a shot from someone's, like, eye socket when they took their fake eye out. <laughs> but that was, uh, that was particularly grotesque. You probably try Hammer if you're trying to hold solo. I feel like that would be, um, I feel like that would be hard with Hammer. Definitely doable, but hard. Yeah, Hammer is amazing in Rise. You get a parry. There's a parry move. Mad God will be future inspiration for you when you make your horror game. It, it uh, the universe for it seemed like it would be awesome for a game. Okay, so is it time to play the video game? Is it time? Oh, you hate eye stuff. Well, you really wouldn't want to know what he did with the fake eye. 
you really you really would not want to you wouldn't want to know what he, what he did with the fake eye after removing it from his eye socket <laughs> i won't i won't say anything <laughs> If you had a fake eye, you'd let pals do shots. Can you imagine putting vodka in your eye socket? I feel like that would sting. I think that would, be, that would really sting. Oh, I gotta add IAEA weird for toodles. Hold on. Hold on, I'm thinking of it. One moment. I also added Peepo Arrive. But Halloween. Um, because it's a very good emote. I, uh, yeah. how many yeah, yeah, yeahs are in there? This too. Weird. Okay. I've added it. It will be there sometime. Who is Jesse Fox? I don't even know who that is. Excuse me. You think he's <laughs> I think he stuck his tongue in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> you only played the first hour of Death Stranding, but was absolutely blown away. About eight minutes of gameplay. That sounds about right for our good friend uh, Hideous Kojimbo. Oh yeah, the the bot works again. Um, regrettably, uh, the the gift bot works again. Video games. Play the game. I'm working on it. Ethan Hi, CDRs. How you doing? Everything has fake eyes? Like what? You can't even put in context. Yeah, some people are really skeeved out by eyes. So I'm not sure why. What uh, what creates that phobia? Right. Uh, vodka's so high proof. It's like pouring rubbing alcohol in there. You drink all the booze through your eye socket. I guess it uh, crosses the blood-brain barrier easy easier that way. Gets you drunk faster. Oh yeah, the shy turtle. Let's not talk about the shy turtle. <laughs> It's not. You have to look up Jesse Fox. It's a game called Jesse Fox. Am I gonna be angry? I don't want to be angry tonight. I want to play this calm video game and not be angry at the world. Jesse Fox game. Oh, it's that shitty Unmetal game. I, I already know about that. That's not the, 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 the game name is Unmetal, not Jesse Fox. It's a Metal Gear parody. I know about that because I recommended that to a streamer friend who actually enjoys Metal Gear. I see you found the cooldown on the uh, the commands. <laughs> you thought about Mad God some more and you think the part where you got confused with the setting was on purpose? Well. You got lucky. <laughs> Um, it was to correlate the similarities of hell, start a movie in the world, lobotomy flashback. I mean, yeah, the whole, the whole movie was just kind of about how the world is a chaotic clusterfuck with not a lot of sense to it and bad things happen. <laughs> the, 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 I, I think the whole title, Mad God, was a, a, a double on, is a double entendre always sexual or can that be a non-sexual thing? <laughs> It had two meanings. <laughs> Cause when I when I hear there was double entendre, I think it like usually it's a sexual thing. But um it meant mad god as in angry and mad as in insane, I believe. So that was kind of the premise for the whole movie. How's your salad, Toodles? Are you enjoying it? <laughs> Only the slowest of streams. I gotta start lifting again. Look at these guns are getting pretty... Pretty wimpy. Sticking your tongue in someone's eye must be German kissing because it's a bit north of French. <sighs> Is it funny? I don't know. I don't like Metal Gear, so I find like I, I feel like I would just be annoyed by it. You don't think it's so fair because you can watch it, but it makes you squirmy compared to other stuff. It's like your own instincts are telling you to stop. That's interesting. It's like a protective thing. Your body's like, no, do not poke eye. Poke eye is pain. You know what you've been thinking deeply about Midnight Mass? Yeah, you and the entirety of the horror Reddit. <laughs> people, people really love Midnight Mass and think it's very profound. 
I I hate oh, what's his name? I forget his name. Who's the Midnight Mass creator? Flanagan. Fl no, Flanagan. Uh, Mike Flanagan? All his stuff is shit, but he's so highly regarded by the horror reddit for some reason. Hearing Jade's voice in it is hilarious. Oh, Skin Teen's playing it? I must have missed it. You don't know Soxman's here until you hear the soul. <laughs> he announces himself. A boot? Who's a booting? Not me. Is it related to Unepic? It might be. Pea shooters. Pea shooter is a very formidable uh, cuphead weapon. Okay. You had a triple entendre once. It was like dinner with parents. You disappointed two people at once. Ooh, eat more protein. That's pretty much all I eat. I eat. I eat a lot of beef. A lot of a lot of chicken. A lot of beef. Potatoes. Hot takes. <laughs> I thought, okay, Toodles and I watched it, we, we we binged it in seven hours and thought it was hot garbage, but, uh, I understand some people enjoyed it. The thing with Mike Flanagan stuff is he thinks he's, uh, very smart, so a lot of times he has his characters go off on these monologues for literally, like, 20 minutes at a time. Not even exaggerating, I should have timed it, I think one of them was, like, 15-20 minutes. And, uh, they talk about nothing in particular. No, INTJ. He's, he's probably an INTJ. <laughs> INTJs think they are very smart. <laughs> or people who think they are very smart identify as INTJ. <laughs> Guinness do in Trippy's future? If only I could have wheat. I love Guinness, but I cannot have it anymore because it does not love me. You got four kilograms of pork butt, six kilograms of chicken, and two kilograms of short rib for Saturday. Chicken wings. Oh, you're giving yourself away as a non merican Where are you from? <laughs> Those aren't freedom units. <laughs> that sounds amazing, though. You having a cookout? What you doing? Oh, INTJ. <laughs> are you are you an INTJ? MBTI is also bullshit. I'm, so I'm sorry if anyone thinks we're talking about this seriously. Anyway, should we play the video game? Is it time? Can I play the video game now? You ban anyone who likes MBT? I don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. We have to proselytize. Tell them, show them it's not the way. Play the game. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We switch scenes. We're on the right track. Guinness reminds you of licorice. Interesting. Interesting. I don't, yeah, I haven't had it in so long that oh. I, I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Two months delayed birthday party? In the UK about your Swedish- Ooh, sounds like a good time. And a lot of delicious food, which is the best part. All right, I'm gonna boot this game up, guys. Here we go. Hopefully it's not a dumpster fire. <laughs> I haven't checked the status of it recently. I know the launch was rocky. Congratulations. Congratulations. What's happening? Howie! 20 gifted subs, oh my goodness. 20 gifted subs total, holy shit. What are you doing? What are you doing? Thank you so much for gifting a sub to someone I didn't even know came into the chat yet, because you're so quick on it. How's it going? How's it going? Uh, Senior? Is it Senior Jameis? I don't know how to say your name, I'm sorry, please. Please uh, correct me. How do I say your name? What should I call you? My brain wants to read that as senor for some reason, but I do not feel like that is correct. Um, SR James. James? SR James? <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Senor James. Yes. <laughs> My Espanol is not very good. It's trash. Um, play the game. As in the game that when you think of it, you lose. That, that game. The game, I remember. I'm old enough to remember the game. You don't know what all those letters mean? It's for the best orc. It's basically astrology for people who think they're too smart for astrology. The MBTI Myers-Briggs personality typology. You had three pints of Guinness today. Ooh, nice. Can't stop, won't stop. All right, game is booting up. Uh, there it is. There 
we go. You did the test a long time ago. I feel like everyone was kind of forced to do the test in um in high school. Oh god, what was my password? Uh Wish I didn't have to log in every time. It says remember account, but you have to type in the password every time. Okay, so I don't know what to pick for a server. Apparently I'm in Europe. <laughs> I don't want to be in Europe. How do I pick a server? Uh, switch. There we go. Alright. Going back to NA, US. Where all the where all the cool kids are. Ugh. James is okay. Sounds good. I will I will find that a lot easier to remember. <laughs> it's a booting up! You hear that postman or always get sorted? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the follow, uh, James, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Should I pick a specific one? Should I pick one with more people or less people? These all have really edgy names. Moonlight Grave Skull, that sounds like my type of place. This is the goth server. It's mine now. Disconnected, god damn it. <laughs> god damn it, I wanted to go to the goth server. I wanted to go to the goth server. That's my Bitcoin password. We don't talk about the Bitcoin password. <laughs> Especially when I looked at the value of the Bitcoin <laughs> recently. Euros Ruby, no! I might lag. You never did the Myers-Briggs test, Chad? You'd probably be... I have no idea what you'd be. Uh, <laughs> I did the test so many times and I tested it as like a different thing every time. The whispers cut. Ooh. So I don't know if these servers... Does anyone- has anyone played this? Do you know if the servers affect where you start in the game? They sound like place names, like they're going to place me in this specific spot. Wait, what is this game? This is Book of Travels. It is a tiny, um, online RPG, as opposed to a mul uh, massively multiplayer online RPG, where you, um, travel? <laughs> I don't know much about it, I just know that uh, there are other players on the server that you're on, but only it looks like seven, and you have limited interaction with them, but they can aid you in your quest. No, it's it's not a mamorpaga. I, I get too anxious to play those. There's too many people. Mom, I want to go to the goth server. Should we go to oh the cemetery? That's the goth server. That's why. Of course, that's why we <laughs> that's why we didn't go to the other one, the cemetery cemeteries where we're supposed to be. <laughs> you pick your story in the beginning, okay. So it doesn't matter. Uh the server. Okay, create character. Ooh. ooh. I don't think I'm blocking anything. So we actually get to create a person. Not picking friendly arm, it doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully, so this type of game, my only, my biggest concern with a game like this is hopefully the player base sticks around because this type of game, if the player base disappears, a lot of what makes it unique also does. So it's, um, hopefully, hopefully, um, as it continues development, people will stick around. You love how the hip kids tell people they can't be generalized and then throw themselves into a personality box. They, they identify very strongly with the most unique types. This is a little loud for me. Okay. So form. There's multiple ones? Ooh, wait a minute. How many are there? Oh, there's quite a few of them. Okay. Okay, so form. A form is a basic wonder archetype used as a starting template to create a new character. Your chosen form determines a range of options and preset characteristics for your wanderer and can also inspire you to roleplay in a certain way. Oh god, I don't I don't RP. <laughs> there are several startup forms to choose from as well as more unique ones that you may discover and unlock on your travels across Braided Shore. Many different types of people and beings inhabit Braid Braided Shore. Askin folk being the most common. Your origin, your origin describes what type of people you are related to. Each type of being has its own strengths and weaknesses. So these are like D&D, like races, I guess, type thing. Get an Invader Zim t-shirt and Hot Topic? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, Toodles got uh, got Cuphead t-shirts from Hot Topping and is, is mailing them to my house so I can mail them to her in Canada. Because <laughs> Hot Topping doesn't ship to Canada for some reason. 
Real gamers play 1Ds, exactly. Wind affinity. Every person has a connection to one of the four great winds. Affinity makes the cost of skills of that wind less, meaning you need fewer skill points to learn it. Okay. Affinity. Where do you see that? I'm gonna feel really stupid playing this, I can tell. Uh, descended from the peoples, so ask and fist. Descended from the peoples that inhabited the islands of braided shore since before recorded annal annals. Your kind is by far the most numerous. Naturally adaptive and resourceful, ask and folk have no natural physical weakness or fortitude, but their inherent spirituality makes them able to master the language of magic. Born in an eastern wind, you receive a buff on skill checks. Okay, so that's the affinity down here. Um, that's powerful. Just and true qualities. Interesting. Okay, so this is kind of like the human basic basic bitch character. Typically don't tend to play those. <laughs> Shipping is $20. That's gross. I think the RP it refers to is basically just if you pick the dark and edgy class, you might do something to affect a player differently than the lawful good type. Oh, maybe. Anyway, I'm not going to be the plain person. That's boring. Why would you want to be a plain person? Excuse me. I'm not reading this one because it looks like the same. The dimmed looks like the same description as the one we just read, but the next one isn't. So this one, this one says, "Wisdom wide as sand and tide." I am not wise, so we're definitely not gonna be that one. One Direction. No, not one B. <laughs> Make sure you pick the right choices. I'll try. I'll try my best. I know there's very specific choices in character creation that uh, that cannot be uh, redone. You like plain things? Would you be a human in D and D, like a hu basic bitch human warrior or something? I always like half elves because I'm angsty. Them. I feel like they, they fit that. <laughs> you receive a buff on skill checks related to the western wind with its warm, creative, diffuse, and mystical qualities. Soft the stepping, still the gaze. I wish there was more information about this particular form. Like the form descriptions, unless I'm missing it or just repeated. Until you get down to the bottom. Like they're all asking folk, but they just have different wind buffs. I'm not wise, and I know it. <laughs> Why would you want to be a plain person murdering all of chat in one side and commentary? I've had people call me plain before. When I when I was uh, I was actually on an MBTI forum back in the day when I thought that was uh that was a thing that wasn't stupid, and they had a video chat. And I joined it, and someone had said that I looked a lot more plain than what they anticipated from how I talked on the forum. Like, I don't know what that's supposed to be, <laughs> but it's insulting. <laughs> You're calling me ugly? What are you saying? Uh, you receive a buff on skill checks related to the Western Wind. Okay, so these are all the same. Unfettered Glee with song set free. Oh, is this like a bard? This looks like a bard. Oh, the talents. I see them now. Okay, so the talents are social and spiritual. It, not me. Definitely not me. Um, mechanical and social. Where's the antisocial talent? I have a talent with that. I tend to play characters that are similar to myself because I'm not good at getting into the role of a character that is too dissimilar. This game does seem like it could be poggers if I get past the character creator. <laughs> Click the wind icon? What wind icon? Donde? A Murther is cute. I might, I'm might. i thinking about it because it's a bard, but social. Eastern wind is better than western wind. Is this true? Or you just have a preference? You like half-elves too, Chad? Because you're, <laughs> when you're 17, you want to be Aragorn. <laughs> they, I feel like they just have a lot of potential for very tortured backstories because of being a uh, half-bred. Is there a dumb and withdrawn character? Yeah, that's what, I'm looking for that too. Slender, bright, worn, clear, and light. Oh, this is a northern wind. 
You receive a buff on skill checks related to the northern wind with its cerebral calm and mindful qualities. Where is the just like absolute dumbass character? I don't think it exists. <laughs> Everyone's social. Everyone's so social. Surely everyone on the forums spoke the same way. You're all NBTIs. M MBTIs? Or are you making a joke with another acronym? You're a human variant because feet. Show me, show me, show feet. <laughs> Scarred and hardy storm wrecked soul. I mean, this is the edge lord one here. This is this one looks looks pretty edgy. You can see them crying. You can see them crying down here. Not the himbo. Who's the himbo? None of these seem like a himbo so far. You're a DM, so you get to be everything. It sounds like a lot of fun to be a DM. Also a lot of work. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I can relate. I can relate to this picture here. <laughs> Just like lounging, having some tea in a smoke. Oh, physical, physical and social. Yeah, this one's spiritual and social. Deep cleft bright in small delight. I don't know what that means but it sounds like fun. You receive a buff on skill checks related to the Eastern Wind with its powerful, just, and true qualities. Yeah, I'm looking for someone who's not social. They all have social buffs. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. The Enfolder, serve and shine with strength and kind, mechanical and physical. You receive a buff on skill checks related to the Southern Wind with its stormy and energetic qualities. It's a lot of wind. It's heckin' windy. What? How's the music volume, guys? Is it too loud? There's seven tabs! Oh my god! <laughs> and each has multiple things. Mechanical and social. Cerebral, calm, and mindful. Treasure the measure. The underknown. Why is everyone's crying? Everyone's got a crying icon. Physical and spiritual. Warm, creative, diffuse, and mystical. Place for life and laughter bright. The ribboned. Spiritual and physical. Interesting. Cerebral, calm, and mindful. Magic plane at hearths not feigned. I can't even. I feel like they're speaking in in, <laughs> in code. <laughs> I'm trying to pick someone good. Eastern wind. I don't know. Northern wind seems more appealing to me so far. Oh wait a minute. Southern wind. Stormy and energetic. Quick for the trick, first to the findings. There's so many of them. Okay. None of these really resonated resonated with me, if I'm honest. Other than maybe this one. Potentially. Or the bard. This looks like some sort of bard. Which could be fun. Also looks kind of cute. And folders looking cool? Is that the edgy one? Is that a big cup? It's is it like a tea kettle. What are they holding? <laughs> You're gonna Google ahead and look what this game looks like. Wow, rude frogs, rude. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to pick a good character. This is who I'm stuck with. I don't think I can change it, so I want to pick the right one. This one has a book. Mechanical and social. I just I feel like there's not enough information about them for me to really pick. It's a very brief blurb. Excuse me. Pick the smoking dude. The uh, the dude that was just lounging. I was uh, torn between that and the bard. This guy. The moss walker. Powerful and true. Okay, this, this, this sounds like a character that I would like. <laughs> We do like books. I don't know if you can recreate later. Hey, Rain Frenchman, how you doing? Okay, I'm gonna just go with the Moss Walker. Although, actually, do you not get to pick if you if it's a dude or a lady? The Murther's cuter. I like the the character portrait better for this one. <laughs> If I'm being totally superficial, I like the character portrait a, a lot better for the Murther. And also, it's a, it looks like a lady character. Oh, you can change appearance, never mind. It's up there. Okay, so we'll go with Mosswalker next. Ooh, here we go. Age. 
Gender upbringing, rural, small, ooh, okay. Oh, oh, that's cool, so it changes it here. It changes it here in your backstory. A lot of times you need to know what the game is actually like before you can make the character you really want. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Her name indicates she's fun. Yeah, that's why we don't want to be her. Whether or not it is a past you cherish or despise, your background affects who you are and will influence your future. Your wanderer's age and gender does not affect gameplay and is solely for any role-playing purpose you choose to pursue when enacting your character. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Growing up in the farmlands, you learned at an early age how to work the fields, care for livestock, and read the shifting of the seasons. Oh, they can't be viewed by other players, so this is just kind of for, for you to hold tight. Big urban! <laughs> Big, big urban. <laughs> what is? I don't know why that sounds so funny. You grew up in a large city, learning the business relationships between trade, craft, supply, and demand, and the many faceted rules of the city streets and alleys. Is there small urban? We got big urban and small urban. Crafter upbringing. Your youth was spent in apprenticeship, learning the trade of your parents. You have a good understanding of the nature of stone, wood, and metal. Mystical. Your child spirit was open to the mysteries. You spent your youth learning to control your mystic gifts. And unknown. You have little recollection of your past, nor how you lost your memory. Unburdened by any dark memories, still you imagine you know something of what it is to be an uprooted tree. I feel like I relate to the un- oh, illegal- <laughs> I, I relate to the unknown one because my memory is so bad. <laughs> She's a lady. This is a nice looking game, now that you've seen the actual game. <laughs> You were raised as a cub amongst bandits, learning the tricks and skills necessary to live outside of gentle society. Naval- ooh! A child of a seaborne family, you spent most of your youth on an ocean-going vessels- on ocean-going vessels learning the language of the waves and the weather. I like the naval background. Mountain. You grew up in the mountainous terrain, tending goats, climbing rocks, exploring caves, and listening to the silent beat of the mountain's heart. Big urban! <laughs> I don't know what, like- there's gotta be small urban, why would you say big urban otherwise? Do you get to- th I don't- I don't think you get to- wait, you do. Oh no, but no one can see it other than you, so it doesn't matter too much. Unless you really want to, like, have it there for your own reference. You grew up on an island, shore fishing, gathering driftwood, and pondering the mysteries of the tides. I actually like the islander background more than the naval one. Highborn? Lacking nothing in care and comfort, you have enjoyed a privileged childhood as a highborn, bred to shoulder the responsibility of keeping the secrets of engineering and master iron. Why would you want to play a trust fund, kid? Poor. Like so many other children of the destitute or unfortunate for you... Like so many other children of the destitute or unfortunate for you, going to sleep cold and hungry was the norm rather than the exception. Still you survived where many perished. There's a lot of backgrounds. Okay, we're skipping the religious one. Enslaved also does not sound fun. Okay, we're gonna do Islander. And background story can wait. Age, we will be... We'll be younger, we'll be like 25. Female. Okay. Next. Amnestic protagonists. It's like a bad romance <laughs> Is that the word for someone who is afflicted with amnesia? Lady Gaga is basically an anime as a person. Oh, traits! Oh my goodness, what is this like Darkest Dungeon stuff over here? Besides being a crucial cornerstone for your role-playing experience, your wanderer's personality traits will affect a great variety of situations. Positive traits will grant you benefits in certain aspects of your travels and can often, with clever use, be used to your advantage. Your negative traits, on the other hand, may at times disadvantage or hinder your pursuits. Practical. Okay, so... Can I pick these? I just click on them? How many do I pick? <laughs> Enter additional personality. <laughs> Okay, uh, bad barter. Oh my goodness. So there's good and bad ones, I guess. So I guess we'll pick, uh, forgiving. And... I feel like lucky's pretty fun. Oh, gameplay effect not yet implemented. Okay, we're not gonna pick that. <laughs> it's like in bold letters. I want it to be lucky, but it's not implemented apparently. Uh, so we'll pick venturesome, maybe? I'm gonna- I'm gonna read the... How do I unselect something? Can I only pick two? Okay, we can only pick two, so we have to- we have to pick. Free text gender is very cool. Yeah, I actually uh, definitely appreciate that. There's no reason to not have it if it's not like just a, uh, just binary choices in game that affect the gameplay in some way. You can put whatever you want and then they can just plug it in wherever it matters. 
Pipeborn almost like Bloodborne. <laughs> I forgore. Sometimes I forgore as well. Um, what is Charmful? Charming. I don't know why they do Charmful here and Charming down here. You have a way of presenting yourself in a pleasant and delightful manner. Increase value of own goods. Uh, how about empathetic? You're good at comprehending the feelings and needs of others. You're accepted into a party a little faster than other folk. Cryptic. Not implemented. Practical. You know how to prioritize and disregard useless and unimportant details for the sake of reaching more important goals. You travel faster on roads than other folk. Ooh, I like that. Romantic. You val value the twosome ideal greatly and strive to come as close as possible to fulfilling it. You gain more knowledge in parties of two. Is the romantic trait for people who are like looking for a significant other while playing this game? <laughs> like both of you have the romantic trait and you meet up. That's how it starts. Hi, NGG. How you doing? Happy Friday. Happy Friday Eve to you as well. Welcome. How's your week going? Friday Eve. Careful. You have a risk-averse nature and habit of keeping your guard up. You get a notion when dangers draw close. Venturesome. You decide for yourself when to, where to seek new experiences rather than following ways of the pack. You lose less energy for mocking. Forgiving. You believe that everyone deserves not only a second chance, but a third one as well. You gain uh, knowledge when someone leaves your group. Interesting. Trusting. You have a high tolerance for ambiguity and expect folk to be dependable and predictable. The healing you receive from others has greater effect. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with practical. And... No, it's, it's tough between these three on the bottom. I kind of wish Lucky was implemented because I would have gone with that. That's always fun. Except for like, wasn't wasn't Luck in Dark Souls 3 really weird? It was implemented as a weird step. I forget what it did. Imagine if you picked the poor backstory and the picky eater trait, how would you survive? <laughs> Only the finest of uh, scavenged trash. Uh, the healing bonus sounds really nice. Because I'm going to take a lot of damage, probably. But also gaining knowledge sounds nice. Okay, I'll do forgiving. Knowledge sounds fun. Okay, so bad traits. How about... What, what is dyslectic? Oh my god! You have... To, okay, is this... Okay. I don't know if this is okay. I'm not dyslexic. Pick that for memes. Is this like offensive to dyslexic people? I actually don't know if that's okay. Um, or a good thing. But yeah, that seems like it would be rough as a bad trait. Trying to read. Luck in RPGs, it always meant crit rate. Yeah, some of them do it that way, but in Dark Souls, I think it was weird. High tolerance for ambiguity. This perfectly describes who I am not. Wait, which one was it? With the high tolerance for ambiguity, the trusting. Yes. Yeah, no, it's hard, especially as an adult. I feel like it's definitely very hard to be trusting. I'm definitely more forgiving than trusting. For the most part. A text-based game with a dys dyslexic trait. I don't, like, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Cause then I'm gonna have to have to re narrate the text like this and also like if you're an actual dyslexic person you would probably never want to pick this because that seems like a nightmare on top of dealing with the regular dys dyslexia you sometimes suffer crippling coughing attacks you become slowed or stopped for a short duration if the whole stamina bar is depleted you're clueless when it comes to haggling for goods trading is more expensive when pressing they suggest trade button you suffer from poor eyesight. You can't see collectibles glimmering at all. Toodles, it's you. <laughs> it hit you. Also, it says dyslexic here, and then it says dyslexic when you click on it. Insecure? Oh, oh. Oh, this me. <laughs> you suffer from poor confidence and feelings of low self-worth. Enemy strengths signal greater threats than that of actual reality. That seems fun, actually. That seems fun. But... Weak is also not implemented. What's the difference between weak and weak, weak frame? Your physical frame is just not built as solidly as other folks. You respawn with less energy after fleeing from combat or fainting. Sounds like me. 
You refuse to eat anything but the finest fare. You're unable to eat low quality food. Stiff. Your body needs some time to warm up before reaching full capacity. Running ramps up instead of being used. I only have to pick one. And not many are implemented. Do you guys really want me to pick dyslexic? Because I, I can only pick one. And then I'm going to have to read the chat. The stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely the weak frame. <laughs> This sounds actually detrimental to the gameplay, though. I'm just, um, I have trouble narrating it to begin with. And this, like, trying to read, like, you have difficulty reading and identifying how speech sounds relate to letters and words. Like, I don't even know what that's supposed to say. Knots and letters are scrambled when reading. Notes? <laughs> I think I, I only pick one. I think you only pick one. Everything you pick will affect you in real life. Well, then we're going with weak, fra weak framed because I already have that. Oh, knots is actually a thing. It's a thing. Okay. All right. There are many skills for the newly awakened wanderer to find, learn, and master. Skills are divided into five categories. Actions, abilities, team making, knots, and passives. Oh my lord. Skills can be found, traded for, or taught to you by the characters and creatures you meet on your travels. You gain the possibility to increase the amount of skills you can have active as you gather experience and level up. Before being able to use a skill, you must first learn it and then activate it from your skill book. Right click on any skill to learn how the skill works. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Howie. If you're playing on your own, it's one thing if you're just kind of reading it in your head, but if you're trying to stop and narrate it, it can, can be difficult. <laughs> The tying of magical knots is the most common magical practice in Braided Shore. The gestures of tying the final shape of the knot together with the reagents tied into it are what gives a magic knot its power. There are many kinds of magical knots. Their effects are commonly released instantly upon untying them. Knots are also what Braided Shore folk use for writing. It is believed that the knot symbols closely relate to the ancient words of making that tie together with the properties. Why are there so many quotes around here? <laughs> That, that together with the properties of plant or mineral reagents is what gives them their power. Teas! Sir, oh, that's why, okay, that's why so many of them have tea. Serving tea is a common practice all over Braided Shore. It is also a craft connected to the mystical arts and magical tea recipes can be, required, can be acquired throughout the land. Drinking magical or masterfully prepared teas may imbue the drinker with a variety of long-term effects. So those are some sort of buff. Abilities that require cunning, guile, or survival instincts are your abilities. Oh, skills. Skills that require cunning, guile, or survival instinct. Abilities are your abilities. <laughs> These are not magical, but they may very well mean the difference between life and death on your journey. Passives. Uh, these abilities are your effects. are always active. Actions. These are normal skills. Your character can perform like resting or attacking. These skills automatically come equipped with your character, so you don't have to pick them here. Okay. Your talents grant you the ability to attempt to overcome challenging endeavors on your journey. Sociality. Is that a word? It's not, it's not social ability? Sociability? This is kind of a lot to dump in character creation, right? <laughs> Having all the, all the text dyslexified seems cruel, like if your character would sometimes misread stuff, that's one thing, but making the game itself hard to read? It's... It's difficult to read, and also I feel weird about it. <laughs> like, I, again, I'm not dyslexic, so I don't know if dyslexic people would have a problem with it. I'm not gonna speak for anyone, but I hope that it's not used as like a comedic thing, if that makes sense, at the expense of like actual dyslexic people. This is the whole game. That makes sense. <laughs> it's gonna be for me. <laughs> um. This is the measure of your physical prowess, as well as your ability to intimidate or inspire by sheer might. Oh, <laughs> I'm a one. Because of the weak willed, I'm just a- or the weak, uh, weak framed, I'm just a one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying, like, the saying, if you were actually dyslexic, it would be impossible, which makes me feel even weirder about it being an option. <laughs> Or, well, it's, so it says dyslectic when you pick it, but then it says dyslexic in the thing. 
I'm not sure what the difference is. Like if you go back, it says dyslectic here, but then when you look in here, it says dyslexic. Proofreading, exactly. <laughs> I pick shit up. I pick this shit up all the time. There's also a bunch of uh, quotes that should not be there in the next page. Pay me. Someone give me money. There's no. There's no need for this to have four quotes on each side. Words of making. Words. Words of making. <laughs> You don't even really need need the quotes. All right, actions. Where do we leave off? Oh, social sociality. This is the measure of your social intelligence, your ability to garner feelings of fellowship from others, to gain their trust, or manipulate them. Ooh, manipulate them. This is the measure of your physical prowess, as well as your ability to intimidate or inspire by sheer might. This is the measure of your attunement to the spirit world and the strength of your perception into the magical realms. And this is the measure of your understanding of mechanical devices and how fluent you are in the language of logic-related subjects. Okay. So how many points do we have? We start with these skills. Oh, we get to pick one. Okay. Guiding Spark Shelter. Where do we see what it does? It doesn't show on this thing here, does it? Five categories, okay. I don't think it shows what it does. I think we just pick. And a need for water. Assemble fireplace. <laughs> Guiding spark shelter. I like affinity for water. And we'll do, we get to pick between sociality and spirituality. I guess we'll do some, some spirituality. Oh, we only get one point. Okay. We're really, really uh, not, very powerful. <laughs> we have a slight leaning towards one category, but everything else is of one. That's rough. Can't click on anything else. I do like the, the cursor. I can't really tell what it is, but it's interesting shape. Is it a, is it a knot? It looks like a rope. The condition is dyslexic. Dys dyslexia, but I'm pretty sure either dyslexic or dyslectic is right. I'm just confused if you li like if it is interchangeable. Why you wouldn't just use the same word twice for consistency? Hey. Unless there is some dis difference. No matter how much energy you put into your own appearance, how you look and how you present yourself plays a big part in how others dis Ooh. how others perceive you. Interesting. So you're. Is this saying that your appearance actually affects your personality, or is this just saying people are going to judge you based on how you look? <laughs> I really hope they let you redistribute your stats, because what the fuck, this is so much. It's not too bad, honestly, compared to some games. Like, I feel like, um... Disco Elysium was pretty dumpy with the stats in the beginning, wasn't it? And there was no redistribution. I went, like, full-on just um, Inland Empire and Disco Elysium and that game was like a fever dream. <laughs> That's true, you're just hiring, you're not making a person. Be a mechanical and go to the moon. <laughs> it's too late, I already picked the other one. We gotta pick our eye color. Apparently that's uh, very important. Eye color Char, you're committed to a life of mastery and dedication. Pale Char, what's Char, Gray? You strive to a life of mastery and dedication. You are committed to a life. You strive you strive to a life. What's the difference? <laughs> Is the pale star slightly less less committed? You are totally committed to a life of mastery and dedication. Okay, so basically the shade of your eye just determines how committed you are. <laughs> yeah, Disco Elysium is at least like 30 hours. I would say. I, it took me about 35 and I'm a slow reader and I, I looked at pretty much everything and did side quests. Are you picking her? <laughs> yes, reinfrenchments. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're committed to living a passionate and vivid life. Ooh. You strive to live a pas passionate and vivid life. You're totally committed to living a passionate and vivid life. You're committed to living a serene and persevering life. Okay. Supportive and adaptive. Man, I didn't know my eye color determined so much. You're committed to a life of humility and curiosity. Hit me. But it's gonna make me my character look like a blind anime protagonist if I pick this color. Is it worth it? 
You're committed to living a life of wisdom and creativity. You're committed to living a spiritual and imaginative, imaginative life. Someone you know took 51 hours. Did they do everything? Hopefully if it took that long. I mean, we can't judge. We took like a billion hours to beat Cuphead. <laughs> All right. We'll do Pale Marble. Sounds good. How about the voice? It's very soft. Hey. 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 I think I like voice D better. Hey. 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 They're so soft. I wish I could turn up the volume. You can't commit to anything as their white eyes. Yeah, there's pale. Uh, no, there's deep marble. That's white. That's white. It's actually the, the deepest, <laughs> deepest commitment <laughs> is the white. <laughs> that looks like a white eye. I think if you're not committed, you pick you strive, which is what I'm doing. Because that's not, you're just kind of like, if you can do it, you will. If you can't, you won't. Hey. 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 Which one lets you <laughs> set things on fire? That's the uh, the Cinnabar one. Hey. Hey. There should be an option to record your own voice. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> Although you know, you know, streamers would just record like fuck, 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 shit. And these are things that um that other players can hear. So, what's up, Sean? How's it going? Hey. Hey. Picking voices in old Monster Hunter games? No, with the old Monster Hunter games, it's like, ooh, ew, ooh, ooh. it's like anime, like high pitched anime voices. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> and then weird uh, grunting in high pitched anime voices. Huh? Hey, huh? Hey, hey. Yes, when we when we met in person, Chad, that is exactly how you how you communicated. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Equipment. We almost made it! You start your journey with a handful of items in your pack and some worn equipment on your travels. You can strive to get new and better equipment by exploring, trading, and overcoming challenges and enemies. There is no coinage or a specific currency to use in Braided Shore, so mastering the art of trading will be key to your material wealth. Right-click on an item to see the approximate value and other details. You cannot carry an infinite amount in your pack. Renting luggage space at a train master's stash available on most train stations is a good way to store things you want to keep but don't have immediate use for. Besides talents and skills, your character also has four cardinal stats. Forest, Ward, Speed, and Burden. I am so lost. These affect a variety of things and depend primarily on the equipment you wear, but also certain skills and other effects. Force is governed mainly by the deadliness of your weapon. When you engage in a combat situation, Force is the stat that dictates the power of your attacks. Ward. Ward is granted mainly by armor and protective equipment. Ward represents how much force you can deflect from an opponent's attacks before you start suffering fatal wounds. Speed is influenced by your burden. Oh no. I am going to be extremely slow because I am always over encumbered in every video game. <laughs> An over encumbered pack rat. Um, it affects your stamina and your ability to tie knots quickly. In combat, speed hastens your initiative and quickens your attack timer, enabling you to reach higher hit probability faster. Burden is the antithesis of speed. Can we, can we just say the opposite? Opposite of speed? It makes you slower, increases your time to tie knots, and slows down your initiative. Burden is connected to your encumbrance, particularly armor granting high ward, making you sturdy but sluggish. You could record your record your own voice clips for Baldur's Gates. Oh, it's a hack. That's fun though. That's a fun fun uh, hacker mod. I'm gonna random it. I think. I like random belongings. We have a uh, spiced flatbread, bread, and a token of beliefs. Cool. All right, sounds good to me. <laughs> Item card poor. Good. And good. Okay, so these are cards. What is this? Oh, let's say drag it. 
Wait, there's a question mark that you can barely see. It looks like a question mark. I can't click it, though. Is there a backpack? <laughs> barely functional backpack. I rolled the good shit. I got a barely functional backpack. Bread, which I cannot eat as someone who cannot eat wheat. And a, a talisman. Yeah, there's no context so far. They tried to. Attack, defense, speed, and weight. Pretty much. Pretty much. I'm not quite sure what they said. They said what tying a knot was, but I didn't. Um, did not. Oh, here we go. The tying of magical knots is the most common magical practice in braided shore. The gestures of tying and the final shape of the knot together with the reagents tied into it are what gives a magic knot its power. So I'm assuming this is just like something we do with people on the server. I'm having regrets about I'm having regrets about my choice of voice after that happened. Yikes. Okay. Your name, Erich Golness. How about not that? Your name and family names will appear to all the members of any party of wanderers you join. Your name will stay with you and cannot later be changed. Much power lies in a person's true name. Choose it with care. Nickname. Oh, so you can't choose your name. You can choose your nickname? Your nickname is yours alone and cannot be seen by others. So why even have one? I was gonna do like shrimp -o doodle <laughs> but it won't let me. So I have to roll. Looks like I have to roll a random name. That's kind of lame. I guess it's because they don't want people to make their names like Dickbutt or something. I can understand that being, um being not ideal for their, the experience they want to portray. Antithesis is a good word because it's more complicated than opposite. It deserves to be lifted, elevated up, and placed upon a plinth. I still don't know what a plinth means. Like, I, I, know what, I know what antithesis means, but I feel like sometimes people use words when the simpler word is fine. Like, I, I feel like sometimes people use the complex words when it doesn't fit as well. What's up, RSJ? Master Doodle! The Doodle abides. <laughs> Hi, Kerbicha, how you doing? I'm just gonna roll till I get something that doesn't sh suck. I can't pronounce like any of these serped. Like a snake. I don't know why the nickname you would even want to enter that. Yeah, so I thought Avril, that's why I stopped it. Like, Avril Levine. <laughs> You're back, what happened? I'm rolling a name for my character. Um, I get to roll the first and last name. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about Avril Serped. Did everyone win? How? Everyone won. Congratulations, everyone. Enjoy your shrimp chips. Your shrimp, shrimp coin. We roll until you get Britney. <laughs> Is this name acceptable? Anyone, anyone have any critiques for this name? Should I re-roll? I don't really care. This is what everyone on the game is gonna see me as. It makes me think of Advil. I accept this name, thank you. <laughs> I'm scared if I re-roll it, it won't come back. Oh, you can store it. I don't know what that does. Oh, recall? Oh. Little <laughs> lag. <laughs> little lag. I'm experience experiencing some little lag on the server. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Alright, I'm gonna store it store the last name. Let's see if we can get something funnier with little lag. <laughs> Leg be. Leg Leg serped. I still have serped stored if it if it works. The leg is yeah, it's fancy. It's French slowness. Leg vigum. Leg on a hid. 
Yeah, they, they don't- I feel like they will not work very well with it. Raspin. Raspin's kind of a cool name. I just picture them having a raspy voice. It's a nickel chrome name. <laughs> I still don't understand. Yeah, Rasputin. Lalag Raspim. I think we've found it. Good enough. Rasputin. Rasputin. Okay. How did your journey begin? I was on a journey at sea. I was traveling on land. I was captured. I cannot remember. <laughs> Which region did you start your travels? If you want to begin playing with a friend on the same server, select the same options above. Yeah, I can't remember sounds right. Um, oh, that, okay, that determines where you start. Interesting. That pick. My name will lag rest. <laughs> it's gonna be my D&D &D, D &D name next time I, <laughs> next time I play. Ra, ra, resp, resp <laughs> It doesn't flow as well. Uh, we're gonna start in the south. Let's go. After all that, I'm gonna have no idea how to play, I have the feeling. It's a tiny MMO, so there's only seven people on the server max. From what I can see. Oh, oh shit, am I alone? Am I alone on the server? Wait, do I have to create a different character for each server? Tea houses are places of rest and healing, but also the best places to pick up rumors and gossip. So we hanging out at the tea house, correct? The traders that lent you passage are the cheerful. Oh. That lent you passage are cheerful. Their <laughs> spirits lifted by favorable winds. They call it the sleeping sea. And it has slumbered as it should. But names are nothing to wind. And winds will blow as they please. slow scroll. It's like we are loading you into the server scroll. A storm throws itself over your vessel, shredding canvas and splintering timber. Your hopes and dreams There's a space that shouldn't be there between desperate and struggle. In a desperate struggle for survival. Yeah, the VA is good. How's it going? Uh, George? You can use the same character. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> After all the time spent creating it. The thundering waves fade. Hitful. Darkness blossoms into blinding light. So this is the we didn't remember how we got here backstory, I guess. <laughs> that to survive a shipwreck is to we're in a be shipwreck. reborn. Ooh, the sound of pattering pores is unfamiliar, and the voice that calls behind it speaks to you in an unknown tongue. This art is really cool, too. Samram? Hello? Hello? Driftwood Collector. Okay, I have no idea what's going on here. This should be good. <laughs> Effect cards show pe the details of the temporary penalties or boons which are affecting you at the moment. Effect cards are displayed on the top left of the screen. Okay, so I have some stuff going on up there. Yeah, this is the possibility to be really cool. Again, I, I the what I've heard it described as is kind of a mix between an MMO and Journey. Which, uh... Sounds very interesting because I feel like most MMOs are just so cluttered that they don't really appeal to me. But if it's something that has like kind of the social aspect of an MMO with less going on, that could be really cool. You're level five now, so you've been playing and you're enjoying it so far. Walk by left clicking, clicking on a destination. Run by right clicking. Press space to come to a full stop. Take note that the faster you move, the faster you consume your white stamina bar. When you stop to rest, your stamina will begin to recover automatically. 
Click in the middle mouse, mouse button will make you exclaim a voice call, suitable as a vocal greeting, as well as a call for attention to other travelers. Okay, so the middle mouse button is the please halt me, I'm being, <laughs> being attacked by wolves button. You get a power level now so you can get lead. I don't know if this is that's it. I don't know if this is a very competitive game. <laughs> to spot interactable objects and loot in your surroundings, you must hover over them with your mouse pointer. If an object lights up and your mouse pointer changes form, you can left click to interact with the object. The faster you move, the harder it is for you to spot interactable items and loot in your surroundings. Okay, so you kind of, kind of, it seems like it's going to be a balancing act between traveling at a good clip and actually finding stuff. PvP the other six people. Yeah, with my starter backpack and bread, I'll just hit them with the bread. <laughs> left clicking on interactable items in the world will trigger loot pickups or item specific interactions. Left click on NPCs to interact with or reveal their special interactions, like, why is this a colon? A semicolon? Uh, like talk, trade, pet, etc. Explore an NPC's special interactions by clicking the interaction icons that hover above them. Clicking on your own action icons in the bottom right of your HUD makes you perform that action. Okay, so we have the- ooh! We have rest, toggle hood- toggle hood? Is that the stealth option? And battle stance, which is cut off. It's cut off on the right side. They should make this pop-up go above. I know it just says action, but... Um, rest, for instance, will sit you down, speed up your stamina, regeneration, and unlock certain skills only available when resting, like brewing tea, for instance. Okay. Okay, so we use the actions and they let us do things. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, I don't have dyslexia. I have um, weak, weak frame. So I'm battered and bruised. You have suffered hardships and misfortune and need attention. Yep. Tired, you're worn out and feel the urge to rest. Your energy is draining. It's night. Okay. You're quicker because we don't have anything. What is this stuff? Is this a oh, this is like our... Um, So are it seems maybe the character portraits are meant to be gender neutral because they let you pick if you're male or female. Oh, can I make tea right now? <laughs> hold up, hold up. Yes, yes. Okay, so if we rest, these are all the things we can do. wait. Oh my god, there's a lot going on here. And I didn't even look at the skills. So these are just kind of popping up randomly. It seems like because I'm not even in the skill. Oh, this this is okay. So this is the skill book. I say I'm not even in the skill menu, so I'm a little confused. Hi, Fox. How are you doing? This looks cool, right? This uh, I, I saw this a while ago, and uh, I've been following it, and it just recently came out. But apparently, it was having some server issues, like when it first dropped. So I waited a little bit before uh, before trying it out. But it seems like it's working okay now. If it's anything uh, anything you're interested in trying, it seems like they have fixed uh. Some of the issues that plagued the launch. It sucks with any game like this for launch. The um, I feel like the servers always have some issue. It's just kind of part of it. Even if there aren't as many people as playing like a major online RPG. You're beat up and tired and all you have is two loaves of bread. Sounds good. And you can't remember where you're here. <laughs> it sounds, it sounds about, about uh, accurate for a character that, that I would be if I were stuck in a video game. I basically made myself. Um... There are a multitude of skills for you to discover and learn on your adventures before you have decided to learn a skill. Uh, okay, it appears as a skill card in your inventory and may be used for trade if you choose. Oh, okay, so you can barter with people in the world to find better skills or skills that work for you. Hot bread! <laughs> uh, so you can right click to get a detailed description. Learning a skill consumes the skill card permanently. Okay, so you really want to make sure it's a skill you want. Many skills are connected to the winds, and though nothing stops you from learning skills associated with any wind, skills related to your form's wind affinity are less costly to memorize. The skills associated... Huh? A skills associated with wind... Oh, so a skills... I'm putting words. A skills associated wind is shown on the skill description. Actions are mundane permanent skills that have no wind affinity connected to them. I have tuned out too a little bit. It's a lot of info dump. I feel like um, I'm more hands-on with tutorials. So when they're just kind of putting everything in like a card instead of like 
do this thing. Right? Like, I guess... I thought they said they were more... I thought in the description it said it was more about, like, figuring stuff out on your own. But then it's like an info dump of cards to read. <laughs> there are four common types of skills available to learn. Not tease abilities, passives. Should we just, like, click on things and not read this? And make people angry? Because we don't know what we're doing. I feel like... Instead of reading this and then doing the thing, it should have me be doing the thing while reading it, if that makes sense. You begin your adventures with only one knowledge point. Hey, okay. yep, yeah, I actually, yeah, all right. I'm just going to actually see what we can do. So they said we can click on this stuff. Skill level one. That's a passive that we already have. Rejuvenates your body for a while. For Rejuvenates your body when you stand engulfed in water for a while. Toggle clip. These are already actions we have. Reagent's pouch. This is like some sort of alchemy cooking thing. Yep. Some skills, mainly magical ones, determine that you have a specific amount and types of reagents in your reagent pouch. The reagents required to use the skill is consumed in the process. To investigate which reagents the skill requires, right click on the relevant skill card. Okay. Requirements are displayed in the skill description. So these are the skill cards I have. Are you sure you want to relieve your memory from rest? No. <laughs> I would uh, really, I would really not want to do that. So it's a zero of one knowledge point. So I can't learn anything. Basically, I can't do these yet. Is what it's saying, from my understanding. Paper Mario first battle, learn how to perfect hit defend. Is that uh, how they tutorialize it? To be fair, I love games that have shit tutorials too. Like Monster Hunter has the worst, one of the worst tutorials. Or games that have no tutorials. Like Bloodborne. <laughs> Those are my favorite games, but they also don't have as much you need to know. Debatably. Monster Hunter, there is some stuff you need to know, but I feel like it, you learn it more naturally as you go along. You already forgot half the stuff in character creation because you don't get to see any of it in action. Yeah, they had me pick my eye color too, which it doesn't seem like it affects anything visible on the screen. Um. Oh, there I am. I thought it was this person. <laughs> I can't, can't see. Oh, thank the winds. You're alive. I'm just a poor driftwood collector, but I have nothing to give you but my name. I have nothing to give you but my name. I'm called Turfu, and my furry friend here answers to Sidge. There is a pass just to the north of here that will take you to the city of Crossings. I'm sure the Crossings tea house keeper will be hospitable. The traces of your ordeal will be plain for all to see. You'll find the tea house just east of the large tree in the town center. Safe journey to you, traveler. Wait, there's things shining. I saw something shining over here. It shined? It did, am I hallucinating? Was there something shiny there for like a brief second? Is it, are we like pixel hunting on a completely dark area here? Can you pet that dog? Probably. Is this our... There we go. There's a, there's a run. <laughs> yes! Acorns! I'm sure those will come in handy. So we have a stamina bar that's very tiny up here. That determines how much we can run. It's too dark. <laughs> like, it's wicked dark. I can't see the dog. Oh, there, there's the shiny thing. Oh, it's mushrooms. Wood blew it edible? <laughs> what? Excuse me? Check what that is. Wood blew it. A morsel of food will strengthen the body and <laughs> lighten the spirit. I'm not gonna eat it yet. I don't trust it. It says it's good. I don't trust it. Where's my acorns? Excuse me. Is that a reagent? Map. Skill book, backpack, character. Okay, so here's my character page. Apparently there's 18 voices, even though it looks like there were four, I think, but I guess they're adding more. Good ol' Alag Raspim. With no background, appearance, or personality. <laughs> life petals. Your life petals are what keep you alive in this world. You lose the life petal each time you lose all your energy. Beware of losing all your life petals and take good care of your body on your travels. Oh. Ooh, we can die and be dead for real. I guess that's not a good thing. He looks like a scarecrow. 
my character a little bit. They do a little bit. Wicked Doc. Yeah, I thought it was the dude with the light too. <laughs> I thought it was the dude with the light. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Um, so are these... Okay, these are just chat icons. So those don't actually have a function. I'm just, I'm looking around. I kind of wish I had some sort of light source so it was a little easier to see. Acorns are, of course, a first team kind of nut. I'm like, be cool. <laughs> Acorns, best corns. Where's the dog? I couldn't see it. <laughs> I couldn't see it. I tried to click on it. It's telling you you're going the wrong way. Excuse me. Let me do what I want. I'm exploring. I'm picking up leaves on the ground that are very useful. Okay, it really doesn't want me going this way. Yeah, if I, if I mouse around this character, you would think their dog would be here, but it's not letting me. Maybe when we get to the city. Oh, my stamina? Oh no. Waiting for her to kill another player and gank their stuff. I don't even know if I'm physically capable of killing another player because I uh, am weak framed. Wait, I gotta go grab some leaves. <laughs> Sea corns are okay though, assuming the C stands for candy. You like candy corn, Shed? I got feelings about candy corn. I got some feelings. Poison them with a the shroom. It says it's a good shroom though. What do these leaves do? Where where are these going? Are they in this this thing? Okay, yeah, acorn. Seashells, tuft of animal. <laughs> like what is this? <laughs> This collection of leaves and animal hair in my pocket and seashells. Just gathering all this stuff. Oh, a person. Oh my god, the candy corn re is so good. So good. Insecure game gang member. Hi. Thank you for talking to me. In order to get higher rank in my gang, I have to learn the sword. But I do not have courage to fight someone for real. Can you duel me? I just need the practice. Oh, there is PvP. Potentially. Items are stored in your backpack. Some items can be equipped by dragging it into an appropriate slot on your equipment page. Okay. Right clicking on an item will display its details and any actions connected to it. For instance, they need to stop putting semicolons there. there that doesn't even need any punctuation. Equipping yourself with a backpack will multiply your carry capacity. Some objects have pockets where you may hide additional items. Contrary to items in your backpack, these stored those stored in pockets are hidden from NPCs. No, no, no apostrophe. I can't. I can't. From NPCs who would rob you. Some items, if carried on your person or in your backpack, may solicit reactions from NPCs. Often beneficial. It is wise to watch out for them. Okay. Each item has a trade value that tells you its trade worth. Not counting things like supply, demand, and individual traders' biases. Trading items with NPCs. Other they really, like, someone is just, like, slamming on the semicolon button. <laughs> Trading items with NPCs, acquiring goods at a lower price and offering them at a higher price will most likely be your primary way to acquire wealth. No matter your life path, getting comfortable with bartering should be considered a priority. Okay, so we actually have to interact with people. Your backpack. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not even, I'm not like deliberately looking for uh, all typos. I'm just seeing ones that are particularly, particularly like standing out. Okay, I get, I understood some of that information. All right, we fightin'. He said fight him. What do we do that? Can you duel me? And then it flashed this character thing, but I'm not sure. We got knowledge. Increasing your knowledge level gives you extra. Oh, okay, so we gotta we gotta level up. Is what this is saying. So we can fight him. So we gotta level up attack. No, I don't wanna. How do I level it up? Oh, do I have to click? Do I actually have to accept the knowledge point? Is that how that goes? No. <laughs> Am I, I? I'm confused. It it was glimmering like I should go here to my character creator page, right? It's glimmering. 
Increasing your knowledge level gives you extra knowledge points to spend on memory. Memorizing new skills, okay. Doesn't do anything if I click it. They're on the bottom, right? Oh, gotcha. Thank you. So it's already learned. That's what I'm what I'm misunderstanding. So these are already already learned. I thought it was because they had a zero, that means I I don't have access to it. But I guess those are just default. That's why it's a zero. Apostrophes or commas that have gotten uppity. It's true. <laughs> They're just like a comma hanging out in the air. Your ex had to have a colonectopy and she used to say she had a semi- Oh my god. Can't. <laughs> oh, yes. Battle stance. Time to god. duel. Oh god. Initiative. Right, are you gonna tell me what to do? While I'm getting hit in the background? To engage in combat, click on your battle stance action icon. I am reading the fucking tutorial. Okay. Alright, am I dead? Because I was reading the tutorial while I combat. <laughs> Why doesn't it pause while you're doing that? I guess it's a scripted loss, but now I can't read the combat tutorial because it just disappeared while I was uh, doing that. Alright, I guess we- yeah. <laughs> Even the most prolific adventurer must sometimes take time to rest. To rest, simply click the rest action icon. So they did that to basically force you into resting, is what it seems like. Yeah, I, I get that I shouldn't fight him, but I wish the the tutorial didn't uh, disappear. It's a TMO. I doubt it can pause. But this is the tutorial where no other player is harmed. I don't know. Or, it, like, it didn't show me how to... Um, access that tutorial before I entered the battle, did it? You'll notice your stamina begin to recover right away. Okay. You lose more stamina if you travel while tired out. A seasoned traveler knows when to pause and when to push on to reach their destination. Okay. I guess I'll rest. Right next to this guy. You are recharging your stamina. Oh, so it doesn't recharge your health stamina. You are no longer tired. Great, I wish it was that easy. <laughs> you take like a five second nap and you're good to go. I'm a little frustrated that the combat tutorial dipped out like that. Can I get back to that? Nope. No. <laughs> he runs at you if you're near him. I think I'm gonna die. I was just trying to, trying to access the combat tutorial prompts. The, uh, the cards. Run away! Run away! Get out of here! Let me up! Let me up! How do I... How do I travel off? It's like... Hello? <laughs> Am I stupid? How do I get off the screen? <laughs> I can't click this with left or right mouse button, and I can't click- okay, now it, it got out of the game. I can't click. How do I move? Don't lose your way. How do I get- Okay, Jesus. It wasn't- it wasn't clicking the first few times. Travel forth, alone or as a group? Alone. There's no one here. I'm not lost, I just can't interact with the inter- the, the like, uh, the freaking, uh, HUD interface for it. Okay. The game is very pretty, I'll give it that. I just, uh, I'm a little miffed that I can't access the tutorial that I missed for the combat, because I guess I'm, if I need to get into combat I'm gonna be shit out of luck with understanding. Busted. Oh, there's people up there. Are they real people or are they NPCs? I guess the NPCs are the ones that are holding the lanterns. What am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Pockets full of acorns. Should we, do we just have to rest constantly? When the stamina is that low? Oh, you can hide that. Okay. 
it's dangerous to go alone. Take this, thank you. Thank you, that's more weapons than I have uh, currently, which I think is just a pocket full of acorns. <laughs> I haven't found anything. I haven't found anything to defend with. Hopefully we don't have to fight anyone anytime soon. Guess not shells. Cool. I think I'm role-playing a squirrel. <laughs> I'm just picking up like a chipmunk. I'm just picking up acorns constantly. Yes, you can you can have my acorns. Or an apprentice. Hello? Hello? Am I supposed to be able to interact with you or is okay. My name is Magdragal. I request a duel. Okay, bye. <laughs> Why does everyone want to fight? Station master. Everyone wants to fight me. Oh, how do I actually talk to them? Like that one popped up after a minute, but I don't know what to click to actually talk to them. Or if it's possible. Also, something was shining around here. Where did it go? How's it going, Tapples? You just got this game just fishing? Oh, ooh, there's there's fishing. <laughs> there's fishing, excuse me. How you liking it so far? I'm a little confused because the tutorials uh are a little little bit dense and also disappearing. Yeah, I clicked on them. I clicked on him with the left mouse button and on with the right mouse button. I'm clicking left and right and nothing works. I guess he's just hanging out. Do some people just not say anything? That's cool. I'm gonna train. Can you go full chaotic evil and just kill every NPC? Maybe <laughs> maybe I will play. Uh, if you get good at dueling, maybe. Not sure yet, because I don't have any weapons, unless I can, like, beat them down with some crocus roots. You're not sure to, where to go or what to do now. You're too scared to venture out and get robbed. Do you have anything that's worth taking? Because all I, all I have so far, I don't know if you picked your items at the start, but I randomly rolled them. And I have a barely functional backpack and some pieces of bread and also a mushroom. So yeah, if someone steals me, I'm going to feel more bad for them than <laughs> feel bad about getting stuff stolen. Ah, uh, Warden Apprentice! No, why? It's, she wants to fight me again. 1v1 me. Oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't... Can I get hit by the train? Can I just stand on the train track and like, get hit? Oh, it's getting light out. Okay. It's quite buggy. Buggy. Uh-oh, there's bugs. I will find them if there are. <laughs> I will probably find all of them. I know it had issues with the launch, but um, I didn't. I didn't know much about uh, bugs or anything. Now they walk on here. Looks like I can't run. Oh, there we go. You're walking around very lost and clueless, patting every animal you're able to interact with. Honestly, it sounds like you're win you're winning at the game if that's the case. <laughs> patting all the animals seems to be a a good use of game time. Oh, we learned something. I haven't found any animals yet. They, they uh, teased a dog at the start, but then we couldn't find him. So this is just experience, I guess. And once we get enough, we will be able to get some sort of skills. Yeah, I guess we can just get robbed at random. <laughs> it's funny because it, it, seems, it seems so wholesome and cute. And then you can just get mugged. You don't have anything you would miss losing? I feel like when you start the game, most people probably don't... Canvas bag. Wait, is this some stuff someone dropped? Jade shard with curious reflexes, simple soot-covered miner's gloves, and baker's dusty vestment. It's like my work shirt. From the bakery. Whether practical or fashionable, affirming wealth and status or feigning an anonymity, your dress states who you are. Okay, there, oh, there's a lot going on with this sentence that needs to be fixed. <laughs> Whether practical? Weather practical. <laughs> Is it practical in certain weather? <laughs> um, or in truth, who, who you think your fellows 
who you would like your fellows to think that you are. What's up, Elliot? Yeah, bakery RPG. This is what, who I want to play. It's a bakery, bakery worker. <laughs> oh. It's practical or fashionable. Yeah, I get that, but they wrote, they spelled weather wrong. <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. I think. Yeah, it's worded really badly. Uh, for protecting the hands from the bruises of manual labor or combat, nothing except perhaps magic beats a solid pair of gloves. It is, it is good to have a solid pair of gloves, especially if you live in a cold area. I say that. <laughs> Fuck the fucking semicolons. <laughs> Have you played Journey before Tapples? Because it definitely, it definitely, if that is the case with the traveling being spooky by yourself, um, I feel like it would have vibes similar to Journey. There are some parts in Journey that are very, very spooky if you're going on them alone. Mama shark doo 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 doo. Precious materials are welcome trade goods, particularly in regions where it can't be found. No, oh, where it can't be found naturally. They, where they can't be found naturally. You're just fishing by this other player and spamming communication cards. I'm I'm kind of interested how the communication cards play out. Most of them are positive, right? So you can't just like. They definitely do that on purpose, <laughs> so you can't um can't put like obscenities there's not like a, a middle finger card or something you can do this this is probably the most negative thing you can do but these are all pretty positive they're kind of ambiguous it seems like are they the same gestures for all the characters oh, i like this one this is the sad one yeah the broken heart one <laughs> that's good this is for when your your traveling partner that you've spent several hours fishing with finally has to to go leave to like walk their dog or something, but they can't tell you, so they just do this and then disconnect. You haven't! You heard this game is summer to it. Journeys is uh, well worth playing if you enjoy this game at all. Journeys is a beautiful game. The Broken Heart one is so good! I'm gonna use that a lot. I'm gonna use that every time I get shitty stuff from the ground. That looks like it could be cool loot. Even if no one's around. Uh... I'm not quite sure where to go. It's very dark. I'm assuming it gets light at some point. Not sure how important it is to pay attention to the random flowers and stuff. I gotta rest again, I guess. I'm out of breath. <laughs> Loving the Bollywood music? What? Is it like, is it like Indian sounding music? I haven't heard it yet. I'm guessing when you get to like a bigger city, it's like that. Am I still resting? Hello? Oh, there we go. That was a long, long rest. Everybody cries about not being able to get to Casa. But we can get things out for you. Just take a look at what I've got. We'll get more things for next time. Come back some other time and see for yourself. Wait, there was like a- was that a trade icon? Hello. Ooh, wait a minute. You can browse the NPC's inventory on the left side of the screen while the right side displays your own inventory. To begin bartering, you click to drag items that you would like from the NPC's inventory. Well, they use the apostrophe correctly there. <laughs> from the NPC's inventory down to the trade window. You then need to match the trade value of the NPC's items with items from your own inventory. The scales indicator show... The scales indicator shows how fair the NPC finds your current offer to be. When the trade is acceptable to the NPC, the handshake icon lights up. Clicking it will execute the trade. Okay. You receive. You give away. Okay, so we drag this item. We, I don't think any of my items are worth anything this kid has. Working hard is when you're traveling, but he leaves you behind because you're over encumbered. That's going to happen quite a bit. Is there a way to stop the game from minimizing when I click my second monitor? I keep doing that two tables. I don't know. Are you playing it in windowed mode? That would be my only guess. I'm not in windowed mode, so. Uh, can we get... Can we see what these are? Okay, this is a trade good. 
Trade value, trade value. Can I get like a weapon? What's this cage? What's a backpack? Can I get something that's better than a basic bitch backpack? Broken loot. This loot is smashed and in pieces. It appears <laughs> as if it has fallen from a great height. Okay, definitely want to trade for that. I don't know if any of this stuff is worth getting, because what do you do? Oh, it gives- oh, you equip it. Oh, it's an offhand. Okay. It gives you sociality. Sure. Let's see. Is any of my stuff... 27. Oh, you can- oh, okay, so I can get rid of the bread for a fan. <laughs> Wait, it says trade value 27, but this is 81. I don't understand. So he is- is he ripping me off? Is that- that's what it's saying? If he's valuing it at 81 and the actual trade value is 27? Brigade on head for Miko cosplay? I think it's a backpack. I don't- I don't know how that would work on, on the- on the head. From a great height. What? Buying multiple? It's just one, I think. It, it, I don't think there's anything indicating that there's more than one. I... Yeah, it's just one. What if I just suggest the trade? No, no, no. I have to trade all my stuff for a fan? <laughs> I don't know if that's worth it. It does give so sociability. Wait, are these even enough? No, it's still it's still not even enough, but I, Yeah, I don't understand the mechanic. I don't know why it says trade value 27. I don't trust this kid. I don't trust this kid. I feel like he's ripping me off and that's what that's indicating. If it gives the trade value is that low and then uh He charges you more. Can we duck in through here? This looks good and spooky over here. Can't go this way, huh? It's kind of weird walking off the screen. Because you end up clicking the second monitor a lot of the time, and other times it's like you can't walk off the screen. Where are we? We are here. <laughs> We're at the, the very edge of the map, that's why. That's why we can't walk off. I'm kind of glad that I haven't found a real human being yet, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing, and it's a little bit embarrassing. Travel forth! Alone! Walking without haste and being observant makes it easier to find hidden things in the wild. It also makes it easier to get jumped by random people looking to steal your things. <laughs> is it bugging out? Or is it just very dark here? Have we encountered the first bug? Anytime now. There we go. It's just loading. <laughs> I wish there was some sort of indicator that it was loading and my game wasn't crashing. I don't think it was a bug, was it? Because it actually did load, I just think it just didn't have an indicator. <laughs> it is dark and you are likely to be eaten by a Gru. It's game over, man. Oh look, at an animal! Is it a goat? Hey, wait, I want to pet you. Wait, why can't I pet- can I pet the goat? How do I pet the goat? <laughs> I kind of wish there was a zoom. Hey. Hey! Wait! Another goat, or a ram. I'm not sure the difference. I really do wish there was a zoom. Early access! Yeah, the, uh... <laughs> the writing is a little bit in early access, too. You can't tell if animations take a long time to initiate or the game is lagging. I think, uh, like, I noticed with the rest, it takes forever to get up from the rest. I think some of it is deliberate. Because they, like, in, in the, the loading screen it said, um, stuff about how if you're slow and observant, 
you find more stuff, basically. So it's encouraging that instead of rushing through to loot everything. So by slowing down the actions, maybe they're trying to encourage that more? Or it could just be bugs and <laughs> laggy. Oh, it is a zoom. How's it going, Android? Thank you. I didn't even see it. There's just a lot going on here. Cool. That is helpful. Looks like I barely see anything when it was uh, zoomed out. The goats have left, unfortunately. Oh, and how's it going, uh, Twin Lance Black, too? Thank you. Okay. So plus by the middle zooms. I don't think they said that in the tutorial. If they did, I missed it. Hey. Hey. It's nighttime. It's been nighttime for an awfully long time. Yeah, this looks gorgeous up close. I wish they had started uh, started zoomed in. Because <laughs> I think it looks a lot better when it's closer up. Hey. Hey. <laughs> the waving animation's so cute. Hey. Hey. Hey, go. And how's it going, uh, Raziel? Oh, everyone, everyone knows how to zoom except me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, maybe someone knows if the, uh, the animations are are lagging or if uh, they're deliberately slow. That's Apples was wondering about. How are you waving? Middle mouse button. Hey. You you uh you say hey and you wave. That's about all I know how to do so far. And look at goats, but not pet them. Apparently the goats don't want to be petted. Be pet. What type of animal is this? What is? Enhance. Oh, I can't. I can't zoom in anymore. But I want to know what this is. <laughs> what is this? What's this thing? What's that? It's making weird little noises. I'm actually gonna turn the volume up for you guys because it got soft all of a sudden, so you can hear it going. Doop, 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 doop. Is it like a shellfish? It looks like a shellfish. The dedicated hey button, because you only have limited communication with other people in the game. Hey. So they wanted to put that on an easy one to access, I think. Feathers. Okay. Add that to the stash. The server's been lagging the whole day, so they're still having server issues. I know uh, I read that at launch they had some issues with it. It's tough, because it's a, it's a smaller... Uh... Wait, there's more of these things. What are these? I want to, what is this like? What is this? It looks like a clam. It's so weird. Um, yeah, it's it's tough when uh, I'm sure it's a smaller team working on it than like a major MMO. Wait, it's following me. This is very bizarre. It's not working for you. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's. You, are you clicking the middle mouse button instead of um? Rotating it. If you have odd issues, you might want to log in, relog, get to another server. Okay, good to know, Twin Lance. Thank you. Yeah, it's a, a lot of stuff. I'm sure restarting the game too will fix. It's definitely in early access, so that's uh, it's good that they're they're testing everything out or having people test everything out. Ooh, we learned something. Okay, so we're getting there, about a quarter of the way to a new level. Slowly, slowly but surely. Oh, look at all this junk. Oh no, it's an animal. <laughs> oh no, I feel mean. I thought this was just like a pile of pots. It's an animal. <laughs> you're not junk, you're beautiful. <laughs> you're beautiful. Beautiful goat sheep thing. You're my new friend and also there's loot. So we're gonna do. What is it? Specks of cinnabar pigment. Raw materials are welcome trade commodities in regions where it can't be found naturally. Trade value too, okay. I'll take it. Maybe it'll be useful somewhere. So I guess it's like uh, specific areas where you can sell it for way more than two or trade it for way more than two. The barter economy is interesting instead of just buying and selling stuff. Imagine if we still bartered. It'd be so weird. I don't even think that that probably would not work with uh, everything being online. A server is an instance of seven players, but they're all on shared physical servers, which are overloaded and probably on fire. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Just get some fire extinguishers. No problem. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, this is this is beautiful. Are harvesting nodes inter instanced or shared? Harvesting nodes. So as in the um, different plants and stuff you can pick up? You, are you wondering if uh, people can loot the same node? It's like collecting forks in Morrowind. Wind. Morrowind? Morrowind? Actually, um, if that's Elder Scrolls, I haven't played any of those. <laughs> yeah, that, that definitely would be good, good to know, Topples. If, if people share, can share the pickups or not. Because it would be pretty awkward if you couldn't. You're just stealing all the stuff in the area while, <laughs> while the other people are just behind you. I will trade you one Amazon Prime sub, Prime sub for a shout out. You already have a sub. You already have a sub. You can't. You can't even. I will trade you one dab for five hundred dollars. That's the the Twitch economy. It's, it seemed like I could interact with something here that was not a sheep, but I lost. I lost where it was. I guess I'll come back here during the daytime when I, when I can actually see stuff. All loot is shared, but once the first player loots it, it goes on cooldown timer before it's gone, but it keeps respawning. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> there are some games, there are some cooperative games that the loot is not shared and is not on a cooldown, and it's very frustrating that the person you're playing with will grab all the good stuff and leave you with the junk. I'm looking at, uh, what was that game? Tribes of Midgard, I think, did that. The loot was not shared. I think it was Tribes of Midgard. It was some game I played fairly recently with other people that got frustrating. Daggerfall Unity stream when I don't know what that is. I don't tend to play this type of game. This is this is a whole new world for me. You have entered a nomads. Okay, you're right. This is my new home. Start a fire. Are the game sounds still really soft for you guys? This is a very this is a quiet game. I feel like I gotta bump it up and then someone's gonna use a sound command that's gonna be really loud. You feel the warmth of a nearby fire. Okay. Is this healing us? Energy. How do I get energy? Do I have to eat? Let's just put the fire out. Is it not shared in Diablo 2 either? You know, like, if devs do that, devs do that intentionally, they're looking to start shit between friends. <laughs> they're looking specifically to make people fight with each other. I'm just gonna rest, I guess. Oh, it's just stamina. Never mind, there's no reason. None of these heal my HP yet. Alright, well, we lit a fire. We kindled, uh, kindled the bonfire, so now if we die, we can go back there. <laughs> oh god, the trees! Help! Zoom out! Alright, back on the road again. Trouble forth! Alone. Forever alone. A whole new world! Do 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 Disney World! Elder Scrolls Daggerfall was remade in Unity in the Unity engine with a nice look and a few modern UI additions. Oh, it's the second Elder Scrolls game. I was never super into Bethesda games in general. I've tried to play Fallout a few times. I tried to play Fallout 3 and I tried to play Fallout 4. Um, I just don't really like the way they play. And yeah, they're all very ugly. And I'm very superficial when it comes to games. I like games that look pretty or have a good art style. I guess if you mod the shit out of Bethesda games, they can look good, but I don't really have the patience for it. This is a very pretty game. This is a, that was actually why I was interested in it, other than the the tiny tiny multiplayer online mechanic, which is is very unique. But it's uh, the backgrounds and everything are very pretty. I just wish I could see them more. <laughs> I wish it was lighter out so we could get a better view of them. But we're getting there eventually. Tangled plants. Ooh, endeavors. Endeavors are challenges that require considerable effort, offer, often requiring you to employ them together with other travelers to stand a chance at overcoming them. Whether individually or as a group, endeavors often 
Endeavors often tests the challenger's talents. Test. Often tests the challenger's talents in either mechanic spirituality, phys physicality, or sociality. Some endeavors require only a number of participants to join in the effort and disregards talents altogether. This is, this is the, <laughs> my brain. Um, once the trial of an endeavor is overcome, those involved may expect rewards of various kinds. We've got the colon, semicolon coming back. Items, boons, lore, or access to hidden areas to name but a few possibilities. Okay, so basically you need friends to do this with, is what I gathered from that. Do not attempt to do this on your... Wait, you can do it on your own, but you're not uh, guaranteed to succeed if it's above your specific specs. Well, what are you going to do to d interact with tangled plants? Am I going to die in a bush? <laughs> Am I going to die in this bush? These sinewy plants... These sinewy plants appears to cover something. Only with brute strength and patience can the plants be untangled. Well, good thing I have a weak frame. <laughs> Moving on. We're gonna pretend those don't exist so I don't embarrass myself dying to a plant. Arbory animals. Oh, do these heal my health? So that lightens the spirit. Oh, it does. Cool. Good to know. We're foraging. We're living off of berries and mushrooms. <laughs> Where's the protein at? We gotta, we gotta start hunting. Is this a cow? Can we pet the cow? You find the best thing is what other people do with the Fallout Elder Scrolls game. Yeah, it's kind of sad though that that is the best thing about them instead of the stuff that the actual developers do with it. Finally, the night is here. Bring me the gift of rest. What if I just rest next to her? Is she gonna chill with me? Or is she just speaking? She's just speaking. <laughs> you can interact with that. No test should kill you as far as I know. Ooh. Sounds like a challenge. <laughs> I'll give it a try. After we pick up the thing that was shining over here. Where was it? There's something shiny. This thing. Do a sleep. Can I do like a full sleep? I think I can just rest. All right, I'm gonna go fight with the plant. <laughs> There's probably something fun in here. So is this the same for everyone? Is this still like a tutorial area that everyone kind of is forced through? Whoa, there's someone hauling back there. Oh, it's an animal. Okay, that's like a deer. Oh, you need two people, I think is what that's saying, right? So there's not enough. I, apparently I don't have enough hands <laughs> for that. Need friend to help with plants. This is very relaxing at least so far. I'm assuming it's intended to be a relaxing experience even though like one of the first things they have you do is fight a guy who like one shots you. I think that was just showing you don't fight anyone yet when you don't have any uh, don't have any gear. Am I out of breath already? Oh my goodness. I'm so weak. Should have picked someone stronger. <laughs> this character's too realistic. Getting winded too fast. Oh, is it because I'm not on roads? Do you walk faster on roads? Or like tracks? I'm gonna get hit by a train if that's possible. Oh, there's different start zones. Okay. So that that was um that was the part with your backstory, correct? That let you let you pick where you started, like south, west, north, and east. I'm assuming it's probably similar stuff in each area. They don't want people to be completely different uh, gear when they're at the same level. Oh, you need two physical. You can do that solar. Get someone to help you. Let's see. You see your stats? Okay. Okay, so if we leveled up physicality we could do that on our own or if we get someone who has one physicality they can do it with us okay good to know thank you yeah ba backseating in this game is fine <laughs> usually i uh i don't like backseating but this is so confusing to me that it's very welcome a lot of oxen here 
You walk fastest on roads when there is a car coming. <laughs> You're supposed to walk with your... I forget, they tell you to like walk facing the direction of traffic or the other way. I forget which one is supposed to be safer. Fishers have it easy. They don't need to plant or fear the, the drought. They just have to take in their harvest. Oh, is she saying that because I'm a fisher? Fisher lady? So she's actually reacting to my back background? Or is she just making a general remark? Shepherd. By morning and day and happy flight, my tools have earned their rest tonight. Okay, good for you. I'm gonna go pick some pick some leaves off this tree. There, just more acorns. I have so many acorns I could grind them up and make flour at this point. <laughs> I wonder how acorn flour tastes. Has anyone had acorn eaten acorn products before? I know you can grind them and make them into a flour, I'm pretty sure to bake things with, but I don't know if it would taste great. Everyone just wants to sleep. It's bitter. Bitter, interesting. Yeah, because most uh, commercialized nuts are more sweet, like cashews and, and uh, macadamias, that type of stuff. Did you want some advice? I don't want a backseat. Just help if you want it. Um. Thank you for asking. I will definitely let you know if there's something that I that I would like some advice with. Uh, right now I'm just kind of poking around, seeing if I can get to whatever destination they want me to get to. No, okay, that's one thing. That one th that's one thing that would be helpful. I'm supposed to- I think I'm supposed to be getting to a city or something? I- I'm not sure if that's indicated somewhere, if there is an objective. Um... I'm wet. Oh no. That's not good. Your bag is almost full. Oh no. <laughs> well, if you have any uh, any edible things, you can always eat them, I guess. <laughs> or get a bigger backpack. The effect of the affinity for water fades, and now I'm just wet. That's a bummer. Oh, no longer wet. You're free to go anywhere, it's what they want, no missions or anything, but it's good to go to a city. Okay, so you can... There is no map of this place? Sure. <laughs> um... So I'm assuming the city is where you go to kind of kind of trade and gear up and prepare for a bigger adventure and meet people? Crossing is at the bottom right, the NPC you started at. Should have said that. They probably did say it, and I probably already forgot it. <laughs> the load screen is still a little weird to me, but it's just solid black. Oh, excuse me, okay. Um, Alright, something is lagging here really bad here. It's like the screen is glitching. What's that? This road is closed, traveler, by the order of the coroners. Okay. Move along, please. What's up? Yo, what up? This way is blocked by orders of the coroners of the acting arch council. Okay, so basically we we don't want to go there if any any sort of coroner is involved. <laughs> they deal with dead people, don't they? The bartering system confuses me. I still can't figure out if the trade value that is given is what it's actually worth, and then the trade value that they ask for is is if it's higher, then they're screwing you over. Zombie pandemic that way? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That sounds fun and exciting. Whoa, whoa boy. Camera. Camera, please. Something was going on there. <laughs> So bottom, bottom right was the crossing. Good thing I'm going in the absolute opposite direction. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't. I don't really need a note, but it's good to know we can do that. 
In place a note like, do not go back there if it's a place that sucks. Oh, this game's almost too relaxing. My stamina. Not sure how I feel about the rest system yet. I get, I get the idea. I get that it's to encourage you to stop in a specific area and kind of appreciate what's going on instead of hauling ass through it with infinite stamina, but sometimes I just want to haul ass through an area. I don't know. Let's keep going south. Three maps to the left west is crossing? What type of animal was that? So over this way, past this Casa Health thing. I'm going the total opposite direction of what they said. <laughs> That's about right. Oh, okay, apparently we fell in the water. Nice pumpkin. Just me and the goats, not another human being in sight. Very peaceful though. I just said I have to stop and rest like every two feet. That is also a nice pumpkin. Everyone's got such nice pumpkins. I have the Charlie that's a pumpkin. That's pretty good too. Soon it'll not be pumpkin emote time anymore, so gotta use them all we can. I'm far to the east <laughs> and just straight up one in the, the opposite direction. <laughs> Whoops. Thank you. The day-night cycle seems really long because it's still night and I've been playing for at least 45 minutes, if not longer. Nice, Gords! You can't just say that to someone. <laughs> you, can't, you can't just say that to someone. Wait, do I have to stop moving? Okay, my stamina is legit so bad. Uh. <laughs> ambient, ambient bang. RL cycle? Wait, real life cycle? As in, if it's night in real life, it'll be night in the game? Well, that's unfortunate. 12 hours of night? What is this, Iceland? <laughs> How far north are we? That's a long night. So you, that means you have to play during the daytime if you want to actually see stuff in the daytime? Or play on a different uh, region. This looks important. There's a lot of people here. But look, some leaves. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> like I'm meeting here and I'm over here picking chestnut shells off the ground and not interacting with anyone. This is accurate. We found the oxen. You can server hop until you find a day one, but then don't you have the lag? Like I get, I get the idea, but then if you're you're hopping to a server that's like really far from you, that's just giving yourself weird latency stuff. Playful child is the only one we can talk to. Half of your exp just disappeared. Uh oh. <laughs> early early access. Early access. Oh, same region servers. Okay, okay. I was confused. <laughs> okay, thank you. It's like please don't make me go. To Europe, I don't want to. <laughs> we played with the kids near the ravine. They have sweets from Casa to trade. Ooh, important information. Halfway to level two. I do like leveling up by talking to people and finding stuff out. That's pretty cool. How's it going, Solwood? Hello. Also a good pumpkin. Pumpkin emote. 
Okay, so we can't move the character from US to Europe or anything. Okie doke. Alright, who else can we talk to here? The coroner custodian. No one is allowed beyond this point, traveler. Access to the city of Casa is denied and any... Denied? Access to the city of Casa is denied any and all travelers who cannot produce an official pass from the coroners. Please find an alternative route to your destination if you can, traveler. Okay, I'm not good enough, I guess, to get by here. Speak to the custodian. Alright, this is definitely some weird, like, camera bug where this camera starts, like, <laughs> every now and then. <laughs> starts shaking uncontrollably. Okay. So I guess we gotta go northwest? Because we can't go west through here. So we gotta go through the crossroad glade. To go west. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. It takes you about 15 seconds of resting to recharge from no stamina to full. I guess there's abilities that change the rate at which it recharges or how fast it drains. Thank you! I watched Sesame Street as a child. I'm just trying to figure out how much they are going to force me to... Um, how much time they're going to force me to wait <laughs> every time I rest. You're on the edge of what they have opened up. Oh, for the, um, for the early access, you mean? Where am I? We're getting there. I'm going vaguely in the right direction. Oh, does Blade Pass? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. This is the road! Walking regens stamina, but it's also... Walking. <laughs> I got. I gotta go fast. <laughs> I. I don't know if I'm the intended audience of this game, <laughs> because I'm like, please go faster, please, please get to the destination faster, and that's not the point. I understand that's not the point. It's to meander at a leisurely pace and enjoy the surroundings and interact with others. To know though. So we, we can either walk slowly or rest. We can come to a full standstill or um slowly edge. Oh wait, I took a screenshot. Slowly edge towards the destination. Is it up here? Am I going the right direction? <laughs> I don't know where I am. I am lost. It's not the destination, it's the journey. Like that game. That game. With the guy in the cloth ropes. I am very lost. <laughs> it's okay, we get to go see the goats again. So it was worth getting horrifically lost. I feel like patting the goat should restore your HP. Yes, that way, okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Having the goat is good for your soul. Wait, what was- did I see that before? I thought I already checked that. Apparently not. <laughs> we'll take that smidge more of, H of uh, experience. Is that a black goat? Enhance. A black Philip? random cooing noises in the background. I think we're heading, heading the right way here. Yeah, so so far either I'm just like stuck in a very early area or there's like no one on my server. <laughs> 
Is that I haven't, uh, haven't run into anyone. Never run into anything with a pulse. What's the debuff you have? The red icon below the picture. I'm battered and bruised. I have suffered hardships and misfortune and need attention. Uh, that's- I guess that's because my character's backstory was unknown, so the game decided I was in a horrible shipwreck before I- before I got here. And, uh, I haven't- I have not healed myself. I need medical assistance. <laughs> I kinda went to the border of the upcoming region? You need to go the other way. Oh, did I go the wrong way again? So lost. Train Warden's house. Do I still need to be going west? You got a backpack with pockets that cost you 109. I hope I hope you didn't have to trade anything too good for it. <laughs> I hope nothing of real value was lost. But having more space to pick up more stuff seems like well worth regardless. Seems a good idea to have the biggest backpack you can afford. So should I keep going west? There's just no, um... No sort of indicator that I can see of what the character- like, is there a, um... There's no, like, re- um... Text summary, that's what I'm looking for. So I know some- oh, there's a- ooh, there's an expanded menu. Some RPGs have a- some CRPGs have a way to replay the text that you read already. Or the dialogue you've already encountered. Okay, so we'll keep going left. Thank you. You can press minus on the map to see the world. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, whoa, the map's bigger than I thought. <laughs> okay, oh, there's the crossroads. Okay, so we were just in a very specific region. That's why I was confused. I was like, where is the, the where's this the place we're supposed to be going? I can't even see it. But it was just zoomed in. Excuse me. Pockets are an investment in yourself. Absolutely. It frustrates me that a lot of women's clothes does not have adequate pockets like dresses. Ooh. Wait, can we steal their stuff? They're occupied. What say you? Can I force it open with my brute strength? Nope. <laughs> Wait, can I look at it and use my brain? Yes, we can't. We can't do anything. <laughs> that sounded like a very self-help guru thing to say, and you're living for it. Dork is uh, is secretly, secretly a self-help guru, full of words of wisdom. Hmm. Can I walk this way? Go across the bridge. How's it going, uh, Nomios? Welcome. Are you liking it so far? Do you think this will be a success? So it definitely is very early access. It is very pretty. It's a very pretty game. Uh, I haven't run into any people yet, so I can't really vote for how good it is as a uh, a multiplayer online game yet. I haven't had any interactions with anyone. Um, so far, I will be honest, I'm not really drawn into the world. Am I gonna get hit by a train? Please get off the track. <laughs> Let's get off the track. Um, I'm not really drawn into the world, but I haven't gotten to a city or anything yet. I've just been kind of wandering around in the dark, so um, waiting to see if it kind of has more interesting stuff in the city. Look at how slow this train is moving. <laughs> Look at how slow it's moving. I, was, I got like dodged out of the way. Hi, Age. Would you miss? I was lost. I went the opposite direction of where you should be going for like an hour. Thank you so much for the 48 months. That's four years, right? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? Um, what was this saying? Oh yeah, uh, so yeah. 
I think it has potential. I My biggest concern with a game like this is where it is a smaller game, it will have a smaller player base. So the thing I would fear is the player base bounces off of it fast. And then the whole tiny, um, tiny online RPG aspect disappears from it and you just get a regular RPG if there's not any players left. Um, because I, I feel like it, with games like this they might have a lot of hype when they start and then the player base is just like after a bit. But again, it's it's still in early access. It's got a, got a ways to go before it's completed development so I think it's hard to tell how it will play out and if it will be successful at this point. But it's a, it definitely has potential. It definitely does so far. Um, I think the main thing I would like to see is interaction with another person and getting to this city. So far there hasn't really been much to do other than pick up leaves and acorns. Is it down here? I gotta go down here on the road instead of the train station. I think that's where we messed up. Go south. There we go. How's it going, Godhammer? The chillness in fishing kind of makes me feel like a multiplayer Animal Crossing MMO. Kind of makes us feel like a multiplayer a Animal Crossing MMO out the building. Um, yeah, I, I can see that. Or just uh, just like a comfy, comfy MMO. Isn't it odd that women always carrying a large bag is a normal thing? How did that happen? It's because the, the clothes don't have pockets. It's because when your clothes have no pockets, you need large bags to carry your stuff. Brewmaster student. Brewmaster is a Dota hero. You like how the MMO provides virtually no way for people to be toxic. That is a very good point. At the same time, it only really would work in an MMO, or I guess they don't want to call it an MMO, a tiny, <laughs> tiny online RPG. Um, it would only really work in a game like this because they're kind of encouraging you to only briefly interact with people by like they're tr they're, they're trying to make it like journey where you only have limited communication with them that's part of the experience and then that's the only way to keep it totally uh totally non-toxic is to not let people actually talk to each other it's sad that that's the state of things but in a game where you can actually talk to people for the most part there will be toxicity unless unless it is only co-op. The Monster Hunter community? Pretty good. I haven't really run into anyone who's a jerk in the Monster Hunter um, servers. If it turns out to be a more mature version of Animal Crossing, you'd love that. Yeah, honestly, just having a comfy MMO instead of... Uh, I keep saying MMO. <laughs> having a comfy online RPG that you can play with people and just kind of pick up for short sessions instead of having to grind and compete and do PvP would be nice. I do think there is a niche for that. I'm not spiritual enough to help this person <laughs> make a drink. I only have two spirituality. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'll help you when I uh, find God or something. Help you mix a drink. <laughs> I don't know why spirituality is the, the stat there. I think it's spirituality, right? Yeah, spirituality? I don't, it doesn't show the logo for it. It should show the logos for the talents somewhere. Maybe it is, but I'm missing it. No talking allowed. I mean, just think of, think of those games where you can actually talk to your fellow players. Dota 2 is the first one that comes to mind. Um, it's it, I don't know if it's necessarily the fact that it's an online game where you can talk to people, or the fact that it's competitive. I want to say it's just the combination of both. Because games that aren't competitive are probably less toxic. Like I said, Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter is uh, inherently not very competitive. Although there were- there probably were people who got pissed at other people who weren't good at the game and lost the hunts on the harder fights. Because everyone shares. Everyone shares the three carts that you have, the three times you can die, 
with three lives. That's what I'm trying to say. Everyone shares three lives on each hunt. So if you have one person who's dying three times, I can understand people might get toxic over that. Yeah, TF2 Risu, that was definitely... It was less competitive. Like, people played, but they, they didn't play um in a way that was really aggressive, I feel like. The share three lives definitely would instill hostility. It does, but for the most part, no one really flamed over it. At least I didn't run into it. But usually I wasn't the one dying all three times. So, um, but honestly, I think people might just be too lazy to talk in the Monster Hunter chat. What is this? Oil torch. Ooh. Man, if only I had gone this way first and gotten the lane <laughs> for the character. Oh my goodness. I was like, man, I can't see anything. 69 trade value. Oh boy. For my offhand. Is this... Oh. I was wandering around in the dark for an hour. <laughs> oh. But the three um the three lives thing only really is an issue when you're doing the harder hunts because they can take up to 20 minutes, some of them 20 minutes to a half an hour for the raids. But like the different, um, the bigger hunts, the end game hunts, and if someone dies all three times, it is definitely frustrating when you've spent like 25 minutes on the same thing. <laughs> I'll talk Fridays, I'll talk 24 7, uh, t <laughs> 2 4. <laughs> TF2 was the best for trolling. It's still there. It's still there. It can still be trolled. It didn't go anywhere. Now it's, oh, it's bot armies? I mean, they did have man versus machine, so literal bot army. After I cart twice, I'd be like, please don't cart a third time. I never, like, I do get a little frustrated when someone dies three times, but I never, like, I've never been outright raging over it or anything and i understand that people have different skill levels at the game it's just frustrating when it's someone you can tell has been carried to the point where they're at like dragged through the game by a friend or something and can't really pull their weight at all you wouldn't mind monster hunter voice on but it doesn't seem to be the community preference yeah most people i think are just shy honestly <laughs> for the most part Welcome to Crossings Train Station. I am Old Hob, resident train warden at your service. I've loved trains since I was a boy. There were many more of them back then. Imagine if we could solve the secrets of the old engines. We've yet to solve the riddle of Master Iron, I guess. Still, we can dream. What's this? Um, but yeah, with uh, with Rise when that comes out on PC, I would be down to do voice chat with you guys. I just feel like some people are shy too shy to use the mic some some people <laughs> i'm not i'm not gonna name names train masters oh we can put our junk here i can just like fill the box with mushrooms and stuff cool good to know let's pick up some rocks let's slowly walk over to the pile of rocks and pick Valve did a dumb by leaning all their games away from small communities. Was CSGO ever like a small community thing? Dota, I feel like, just by its nature, wasn't because everyone just hates each other. <laughs> Me triple carding is my nightmare. It's kind of embarrassing. I've done it like maybe like two or three times and I've been horribly embarrassed each time. Raunch ASMR. Should charge extra for that. You're just fishing and hoping for 20 plus value fishies so you can deck out your character with full equips. Hey, if the game lets you play that way, why not? If you're enjoying yourself, if you enjoy fishing, it's good that you have that option. Where am I? I am up here, so I need to go south. Southwest. I'm glad we got this torch because it makes things significantly easier to see. Just going to the same server and seeing the same people over and over. What was the name of the server we were on? Toodles and Age. It was a 24-7 like Badwater Gold Rush 
something server, right? What was the what was the group? I can't remember the group. It was a specific group that had multiple servers. And we always do the payload for some reason. Two Fort is great for all talk because nobody's gonna win here. Right, because it's always 24 people on a map that is not balanced for 12v12. It's not fun anymore. They killed custom servers and default ones are half bots, half racist chats. Oh, they killed the custom servers. I didn't know that. Yeah, that takes away a lot of it. Look, there's people on the train. Are they real? I don't know. Oh, look, a person. Hello. I don't know if I'm actually the only person on this server active at this point in time. Is there a way? Or is, is that part of the immersion is you don't know if you're talking to an NPC or a real person? <laughs> this is no time for honest folk to be sneaking around. Just go back the way you came from, Wanderer. Let's keep going missing from this warehouse. We locals aim to bring the thieves to justice. Oh, you mean like this thing shining on the ground that is now mine? Thank you. <laughs> and that thing on the ground that is also shining? Thank you. I'll be taking that. Taking those knots. Imagine being the piece of shit that made the bot army that ruined the game for so many. Is there a, like, why can't they deal with it though? Like, I feel like with Valve, with their millions of dollars, should be able to find a way to stamp it out. Who? <laughs> You're just a little shy. Yeah, the both of you. Maybe slightly shy. Maybe too shy to use voice chat. Did you use your mic briefly during the movie night chat or was I hallucinating, Dork? I think I may have been hallucinating. There were a lot of people who started using their mics at once and it was confusing. <laughs> that was really funny. Like, <laughs> that was a really funny one when, when I activated the voice chat and it was just like, doo 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 doo, like people joining and leaving, joining and leaving, trying to get the dang thing to work. It was just a clusterfuck. Aggressive mooing. CS 1.6 and Source was, then CSGO focused on matchmaking. Oh yeah, matchmaking is really the biggest issue. Miserable young woman, I found myself. Alright. Do you have any words of wisdom, miserable young woman? She turns away and returns to folding and refolding a small piece of metal wire. Oh. Well, good talk. I'm gonna keep moving on. <laughs> Dota was a big community and they made no effort for the game to be accessible and didn't even want to pay properly pay the TI talent until people like, too good, pushed hard for it, and then they fired him. Oh, there's still insanely busted shit in Dota. You mean you mean uh balancing wise or like the game wise broken? You can do custom servers. Ooh, I just drifted up. <laughs> you can do custom lobbies in Dota as well, but there before the guild system there really wasn't a good way to meet people. And even then, it's very questionable. It's just, uh... Why am I- why is my HP so low? Oh, it's my energy, that's what it is. I'm very tired. Energy and stamina are separate. I'm glad I used my limited energy to pick up those three chestnut shells, though. It's very worthwhile. So what does this thing do? Main gossip message. It's just a message that I can trade for something? Same with this one. Interesting. We'll hang on to those. The custom servers are empty. Yeah, because people are just lazy, right? And they go with the first thing they, they see, which is uh, matchmaking. I don't blame them. It's just easy to hop into a match that way. Did, I, did, did you guys say what the name of the Badwater servers was? What was the group? I can't remember and it's driving me nuts. There was a specific group that hosted the the Badwater servers that we played on. I can't remember what they were called. I don't know if you guys remember. You don't remember either. What the heck was it? <laughs> I can't remember. It's gonna drive me nuts. There's only 20 of them. Perfect time to sell your hats. Do you have anything worthwhile? Seems like the gaming industry is 99% toxic pile of sludgy shit. Disheartening to hear all this. It, I don't know if it's 99% topples. I think a lot of the AAA big money stuff is. 
just because that's it's easy for them to make money and pay little attention to stuff that actually matters. They just make it addicting and people keep buying into it and they buy cosmetics and stuff and loot boxes and... But then you, you have games like this that have a unique idea that don't really succeed as much financially as those bigger games with no heart do. And all sorts of toxicity. <laughs> but I feel like games like this outnumber those games, they just don't get as much attention. Was it Alpha Omega? I don't think so. Hey, Good Wolf, how you doing? Hello, hello. You talked at the beginning, you did! I thought I heard your voice, and then you shyly disappeared. But why? You had you had insightful analysis about the movie. You you, you knew you knew what was going on. I've heard your voice but how are you shy talking, but karaoke is not a shy thing. <laughs> That's the funny thing to me. Like dark freaking belting it out in Twitch sings and then on mic no, not so much. Shy boy. You're just happy nobody made fun of your accent. Your accent is fine, Risu. Why would anyone make fun of you? What the fuck? I didn't even notice it, honestly. Yeah, the, the leave no join notification sounds for movie night because I had accidentally um, disabled push to talk for the voice chat. So I had to turn it off and then you had to rejoin in order to use it. They don't want to ban hackers and shitters because they steal credit cards to buy fake knives. <laughs> right? It's all about the money. That's the sad part. I'm gonna talk to this person up here. Slaughterhouse, yeah, that, that definitely, definitely was it. I'm actually gonna take a quick rest because it's been a minute since we did this. Hey, Karkle, how's it going? Nobody wanted to hear your analysis. I did because I had no idea what was happening. I mean, I get the basic premise, but <laughs> it's fine. I wanted to hear. I'm just gonna peer pressure everyone into talking. <laughs> playing Monster Hunter. I had so much fun. I had so much fun playing Monster Hunter World on the PS4 with a couple of friends over voice chat. But I honestly, I feel like I'm kind of... I have nostalgia goggles on with that game, even though it wasn't that long ago, because that was my first Monster Hunter game. That was when the addiction began. And I had a couple of people, veteran hunters, teach me how to play. So just that learning experience was really cool. I don't think it would have been the same if we hadn't used voice chat. It's a lot easier to teach people over it. But it, it did manage to somehow teach retro over text chat. <laughs> it probably would have been easier with uh, voice chat. Is this another merchant? If you choose to arm yourself, you also shouldered the burden of using your weapon to aid your fellows, should the need arise. Now draw and show me how you handle yourself. I promise I'll go lightly on you. I don't have any weapons. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't want to fight this person. I don't have any weapons. They're going to beat my ass. These merchants undervaluing your items is pissing you off. Oh, so that is what they're doing. Excuse me, that is what they're doing. I wasn't sure. Okay, so they are ripping you off. <laughs> you wonder if you could stream cyberpunk? You probably could actually, since you have that like beefy ass CPU now. That would be funny. That would be, that would be like clown town. That game is so bad. Where can you buy a torch? I found it on the ground actually, by the train station in, um, I don't know if the same stuff is everywhere. It was on the ground by the train station outside. Yeah, it was by it was at crossings station. By the crossings. It was on the ground. It may not be the same for everyone. I'm not sure if they intended the player to walk there and get that early, but it certainly helps with seeing what the heck is going on. Am I still going the I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I gotta go south. I'm like walking everywhere but where I should be going. <laughs> It's hard to make an analysis while everyone was cracking jokes. Yeah, I, th I feel like everyone was cracking jokes because the movie was so uncomfortably disturbing and depressing that we needed to. We needed to to keep our own... Keep our own uh, enjoyment of it up. T-Grex is like a big T-Rex meatball horrible monster. Thank you! Yes, that was very... A very good description of T-Grex. <laughs> I didn't want to do voice! Maybe I was shy. Maybe I was shy. Could be. I honestly, I get a bit shy with like one-on-one -on -one voice chats with people, even people who I've known for a long time. But, um, 
Was I here? No, I wasn't here before. But uh, multiple people is fine. Remember Scale TF2 servers? Yeah, they were full of hackers. <laughs> you would visit the tea house. Okay, good to know. So where is that in relative where I am? Is it in the crossings? Does not seem to be on the map. Unless I am completely oblivious. H got a really disgustingly powerful CPU. But to be fair, he had been using my my uh, 8350 for a while. The sword that adds one might is 420 value. 420 belays it. Apparently things that add stats are, are really... <laughs> oh, this is the TO, sorry. Um, really important. Have I leveled up yet? I'm working on it. We're getting there. So this- I'm assuming this automatically saves, right? There's no- there's no like save. You just log out and it, it tracks you. Wheel in to zoom the map, you have a little icon. <laughs> Yes, this is me. Is this does this say like tea house under the tree, but I can't see it because my icon is blocking it. <laughs> I was gonna build a new system like a year ago, but we know how that turned out. Oh yeah, the freaking the shortage is still an issue. Oh, it's this tea house keeper. Seat yourself wherever you wish. Seat yourself wherever you wish. I feel like the voices are very soft. Is there a way to adjust that? <laughs> okay. Fancy graphics. Only the fanciest graphics. You want Apex Squad, Shrimpy, Me, and Toodles? I will play Apex with you, Age, if you play the Monster Hunter Rise demo with me. That is my only compromise. <laughs> if you play the Monster Hunter Rise demo with me. I gotta seat myself. We can do a trade, we can do like two hours or something. Look at your clothes! I have a me I have a mending knot and some cloth somewhere lying around. There, good as new. Oh, they, they fixed me up. Because I was all disheveled from being in a, a shipwreck. <laughs> and welcome, traveler, to the house under the tree. You have the look of a, a kelim about you. I would not be surprised if you're headed for the Dandelion's temple near Batsa. That place always had a mythical connection with wanderers. The shortest way to the temple is taking the road to the northwest, to the western Verve Junction, where you can catch a ferry to Batsaha. Okay. Northwest. Once in Batsaha, walk southwards along the shore, and the temple should reveal itself to you. Welcome back anytime, traveler. Thank you! You feel invigorated, or reinvigorated. I got it edible? Oh, we got a shirt! We don't have to wear the sketchy-ass bakery shirt anymore! <laughs> the, the fact that this game shoved me in a baker's shirt as my first item makes me very sad. <laughs> oh. Play Monster Hunter Rise with us, Age, and don't scream the whole time! <laughs> He's gonna be like, oh my god! Oh. You're more comfortable with less people. I guess it's because in a larger group you feel less comfortable stirring the conversation. Really? It's interesting. Oh, it's different. I like, um, I tend to like bigger groups because I can blend in more. But it is nice if it's someone you're comfortable with to be able to, like, talk with them in a smaller group. So the, the Monster Hunter Rise demo is free and it just gives you a preset build. So you don't have to grind anything. It just starts you with, it lets you choose one of the 12 weapons. So... Yeah, honestly, Monster Hunter Rise is really not grindy at all. It's so easy compared to World. And so, um, replenish my energy. Can I see if the shirt is better than the one I have? Is there a way to compare them? Whether practical or fashionable. 
is I still I'm still confused if they mean weather practical as in e an either or situation here or <laughs> if this is good for the weather that we are in. <laughs> I'm still confused. Seems like a typo. Five E pole arm master and sentinel are great feats. So what if nobody out of 12 people want to talk about feet? You can't just talk about feet in uh, in good company. Is Toodles part of the deal? No, I'm not going to subject her to playing Monster Hunter Rice with you. She doesn't like Monster Hunter. Or she, maybe she does. She hasn't- she played Rise already. She's done her time. Can I trade my dusty ass shirt for something of value? I would love to play Monster Hunter Rise with Toodles, but I cannot convince her. Uh, amiable the warden. warden. You I really wish their dialogue was a little louder. Welcome to Crossings, Traveler. Lots of goods are traded and stored here, or get shipped to Casa. You'll find our tea house to the right of the Great Oak, where the roads meet. There are several merchants and a renowned weaveries in the west quarter of town. We also have a prolific charsmith, and of course, up on the ridge, our own train station. A word of warning though, Kellen. Our merchants are of a cunning cast, so be wary when you do business with them. Okay, so basically everyone is trying to rip me off. <laughs> okay, glad we've, uh, glad we've figured that out. New shirt has two speed. Oh, the white icons. Okay, let me look. These things? Oh, okay, thank you. I didn't know you could mess over them. So what did my past one have? One speed. Ooh, okay. Sounds good. Straight upgrade then. What is this? Little cobalt blue. Tea. Tea blend that increases your ward. Oh, these are temporary buffs. Is there any reason not to drink them? I'm assuming you drink them when you're gonna head out. I heard that Merchants Union's counselor Velpush is Velpush is held for questioning by the, those coroners. I wonder if it is true. Excuse me. You appreciate Monster Hunter, but you're just not into playing it. I get that. Why play Monster Hunter when you can play Cuphead for a hundred hours? I think Monster Hunter Rise is still pretty grindy in terms of collecting monster equipment, but it doesn't like waste hours of your time with gathering quests like Worlds does. I never once had to farm for a single item. I had pretty much everything I wanted within one or two hunts. So that's like, I would go out of my way to be like, I want to make this, this item that requires the rarest piece from this monster and I would get it immediately, the next quest. Maybe I was just extremely lucky, but I felt like I didn't have to grind whatsoever in Rise. You gotta play Apex, not play Monster Hunter. Okay, we'll do, we'll do like two or three hours of each and that'll be, that'll be your deal. Doesn't have to be a permanent thing. I'm not making this a long, long time, long term trade. You've never played Monster Hunter, you just play Metal Gear. Well, if you would like to check out Monster Hunter Rise, the demo is free and really fun. I try to sell anyone who may enjoy the Soulsborne games on Monster Hunter, even though they're pretty different. They are a lot of fun for action adventure games. Action RPG. Well met, Wanderer. I'm just trying to enjoy some much needed rest. I have recently been involved in a rather grueling training program. It all started when a trio of old speed mystics set eyes on me after I had lost my valuables in a spot of gambling at the Voices Tavern. I was camping by the lake, fishing for some breakfast. Ugh. I don't want to make a big deal of it. I'm low enough as it is. I'm sorry, but I care not to speak more about it. Suffice to say, I am not cut out for their kind of sport. We're doing it! We're leveling up! What are we bartering for Dota? She just wants to watch Dota. She doesn't want to play Dota. <laughs> she doesn't want to play that. She just she just wants to play Cuphead and Cosmos Quickstop, all fantastic games, and do puzzles. We could play a Dota age. You want to you want to stream a Dota? Do you want to play a Dota? 
Do you want to feed and die? Trip luck, I guess. There's a lot of people, like, <laughs> there's a lot of people complaining about how they have to farm for Magnamalo orbs and stuff. But I never had to do that for all the drawn orbs. Sniff. Hey, you smell like f the fighting sort. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Is it my deodorant? You should test your fighting skills against a warden Scylla. What's happening? To strike me so Dorian Caesar, hey! Thank you so much for that sub. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate the support. Thank you for using that sub on my channel. Welcome to the Prom Stars. I hope you enjoy your uh, emotes and your sub badge. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um. I think there was one thing in World with an 8% drop rate that took you a while, but it wasn't something you really needed, you just wanted it. Yes, yeah, so, so World definitely had, it was a lot more grindy. I don't think I'll like Apex. I don't like shooters, really, just as a whole. I do owe you a Dota stream. <laughs> That's true. No. Ha. Doesn't this look great? It's a little... It's a little slow, but I think that is the intent. It, there's a lot going on. It seems like the world building is very slowly unraveling. Or, uh, not unraveling. It's, it's, it's very slowly, um, very slowly revealing what is going on here. But, uh, the main thing that I'm having issues with is I haven't found another person yet. Which is what was, I was interested in <laughs> with it being a, uh, an online game was potentially sharing the experience with another person on the server, uh, but so far I haven't run into a human being. So we gotta fight against Warden Scylla. You seek her out, you might pick up a thing or two, a thing or two about how to behave in a real fight. Very likely you'll also learn a bit of humility into the bargain. You will learn a bit of humility into the bargain. You will find Scylla up on the embankment to the north by the train tracks. Okay, so we can go- Oh, that was the lady who was trying to fight me. Okay, so she, she actually would go easy on me. She wasn't just gonna beat me up. I thought she- I didn't trust her at all. I thought she was gonna beat me up. But she was actually a teacher. Okay. I kind of wish, like, I can't keep- it's a little hard for me to keep track of who the heck I talked to already. Like, do I talk to this person? There's a lot of people here. First time here. We are very fond of music in this tea house. I'm here to pour the tea for our guests. I also play the Azima. I'm a shy performer, however. Someone else has to start before I dare join in. Oh, good talk as they're like walking and they're like leaving. Bye! <laughs> they don't want to talk to me. Magnamala orbs are mainly annoying if you want to get a full set of cer certain decorations. Yeah, honestly, that might be why I didn't have such an issue with it, because I never really... I didn't really try to optimize my set or anything with decorations. I just put on, like, the full Velstrax armor. Yeah, decos. The random decos. In Rise, it's the charms. The charms are RNG. Join us, Wanderer. We work in the Weavery, don't you know? I know the kids pretty well, the Millimac children. I used to work the cloth mill for their parents. I must say the youngsters have managed their inheritance well. I really love the layers. Like, you can see the train moving like three or four layers back there. It really gives it a feeling of depth. The weavery has never been as productive as it is now. Your parents would be proud if they were alive today. Hello. Hello. Nods at you. Oops. Hello. Hello. No, no, no. I was trying to talk to the other guy. No. The worker. Bum? Looks you up and down. I'm not sure I buy into all that good and goodwill and glory about the Millimax that the others are spouting. Sure, I can enjoy a free cup much as the next fellow, but I feel there is something off, something off about those twins, especially the girl. Why is a woman like that not married yet? For a start, is always one of those guys. He's one of those guys. Ah, oh, something isn't right. I just know it. Good day. Good day. Everyone's so polite. No one's told me to fuck off. Verbally, at least, the other person just walked away. <laughs> that's, that's a yeah. body language fuck off. Good evening, traveler. It's good to enjoy the night breeze at Tea House after a day of dust and steam in the weavery. Every worker gets their first cup of the evening for free here at, at Under the Tree, courtesy of the Millimax. A damn decent gesture by our employers, you must agree. It allows even the poorest worker to not miss out on socializing with their colleagues after the day is done. Okay. So we get one free before we gotta start forking up. Forking up the money that we don't have. There's something shiny here. Where is it? 
There was a shiny, there it is. It is a dan Ooh, dandelions, pocket dandelion. Excuse me. Yeah, honestly, it's more fun if you don't have a perfect build, because when you optimize, the game just gets way too easy. I like doing fun builds, but then again, I'm a weirdo. I play with the HUD off and stuff too to make it more challenging <laughs> and immersive. You'll think about playing Apex in exchange for one Maple Story stream. Are we bar we're bartering <laughs> video game time? <laughs> PvP puzzles, me and Shrimp versus Age, we would totally, we would totally win. That's not even a competition. You would need a teammate. Oh, yes. oh, you're a shy performer, I see, I see. You did not sound very shy in, uh, in Twitch things. <laughs> Singing Papa Roach, you did, did not seem particularly shy, but... Alright, can we buy anything? Party. Ooh! Those who travel in a group automatically form a party over time. Its members find strength in each other's company and share the benefits of each other's talents. Certain skills, actions, and spells also take into account if the player is in a group or not. Some of the s some also the size of the player's party. Is it, does that mean there's a person near me? I don't have a weapon. I'm, I don't want to join anyone's party because I'm just trash right now. <laughs> I don't have anything. These are all trade goods, bodywear. How much is my stuff even worth? Like, if I just pile all of my stuff here. We have a 143, so what can we get? I cannot afford a weapon. Pocket tingle! <laughs> Metal top, headgear. I can get body wear. Kind of. Needles. Yeah, I guess we're just uh, gonna head out. <laughs> what am I gonna do with the needles? I guess you you trade them where they're worth more. You trade them elsewhere. Is the is the goal for that stuff? Oh, wait, stuff on the ground. You will out puzzle us. You did not see us complete the Pokemon puzzle. That was Woots Powder. Woots powder. <laughs> Woots powder? <laughs> what is Woots powder? Used mostly for sparks and offensive knots. Um, you didn't see us complete the puzzle that was almost entirely like purple fog. It just all looked the same. I get armor that is good enough. You don't die in one hit and then make do as well as you can. Until you start dying again because you're too lazy to make a plan out build. Some people really, that it, that's like their enjoyment out of the game is making that optimized build to get as quick of a run as they can. And that's fine. That's just one way to enjoy the game, but I'm very casual about it. I like trying to do as, as well as I can with the gear that I've got. Like, again, I would rather cut the HUD and find challenge that way than like add gear that makes me OP. You gonna dab on stream? Can you make your can you make your VTuber dab? That's the idea behind a traveling merchant. Yes. Go from place to place. Trading stuff. Look at all this stuff. So here okay, here Here is where the game is kinda losing me. I don't really know what to do with all this stuff. Oh, I can get a different backpack. I guess. Burden. Board. Bag size plus one. So this is just one slot. I don't know what four burden means. This is just one slot more. Um, like, I'm very confused. Should I be just stockpiling random goods in hopes that someone will pay more for them? Oh, you can buy a lantern here. You can, you can buy a lantern here. <laughs> If you didn't find one. I love how they give you a 5,000 pages encyclopedia tutorial for everything, including walking, and then don't explain this. I think they may have explained it, but I don't know how to access it again. Like, is there a way to access the tutorials that you've already... I feel like I should have written it down or something. There's no way to see it again in the game that I can tell. 
Um, yeah, you can click on the items to see them, but I think most of them are just trade value stuff. Oh no, these aren't. Some of the- so the, the stuff that confuses me is the stuff that's just trade good. It has trade value. Like, what is the point of me trading something for something that has trade value? Scroll down items? So these are speed. I already have a lantern, so I don't need one of those. Parasol. Good for shielding against the sun. Oh, for my, my pallid frame. Escape the menu and then FAQ. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, thank you. Did not even see it. FAQ test one. <laughs> nice. It's a fucking Lorem Ips. Lorem Ipsum copy paste in the FAQ. <laughs> Early access, ladies and gentlemen. Tutorials. That's just funny. Alright. Trading. You can browse the NPC's inventory on the left side screen. Yep, I get that. The scales show. Okay, I get that. I just don't get the whole system, I guess. I get, like, is the whole point you pick up something that you can guess might be worth more elsewhere, so you profit off of it? I think your weak frame wasn't meant for space trucking. Do you have to be very strong to be a trucker? Laura Mipsum. That nunny. Item cards. Party. Effect cards. Basics. Yeah, that still doesn't really answer my question. I understand that. I understand, like, how to trade, but I just don't understand what I should be buying, I guess. And why. This guy's the clothes. Oh, I can buy. I can buy. <laughs> These look like heels, sandals, footwear. They're weird looking. So oh, they make us sociable and fast. Actors, humorous tunic, pocket slots. So it kind of sucks. I'm I'm hoping they change this. It kind of sucks that all the clothes have the same description on them. A lot of them, like the shirts and stuff. The bo body wear all has the same description. It'd be cool if they they put other stuff on them. Sick armbands. Where? Oh, stewards armbands. Burden. So what does it mean if the burden is black? These make us more sociable. So these make us more spiritual and fast. Oh, if I get this, I can go talk to that that brewer guy. We have enough spirituality. It's very expensive, though. I do like that it makes us faster. But I feel like we should probably save up our money to buy a weapon. Do I actually need to fight people? Can we get through this game without fighting? Can I be a pacifist? Not pattern. When this knot is unbound, your clothing turns jade color? Oh, I can buy this and, like, palette swap my clothes? <laughs> is that what that is? I don't have enough money for it, but... That's kind of cool. I think the map for this game to be open-ended on how you want to play it. That might be bad for my own personal enjoyment because I tend to enjoy games more that have some sort of progression or minor guideline of what to do. Like, I like stuff like, like Dark Souls because it doesn't hold your hand on where to go or what to do most of the time, but there still is like something that is indicating progression, like uh, fighting bosses and stuff. Burden says down movement speed and action speed. Okay, so if the burden, if it shows it has like these these stewards armbands, shows it has one burden, that's going to increase our burden instead of decrease it. If this were white, is there a white burden icon as well, or is that no? That's just speed. Okay, never mind. So speed, the color for speed is white. So th does this add to our burden or reduce it? Their combat stats, but we don't need to fight, okay? So maybe we can talk our way out of things. Um, I think I might get the thing that gives us spirituality then, if I don't need to fight yet. Because I don't have a hat. Oh, 
This seems like a ripoff, but... Oh, I put too many things in. <laughs> Take them away. Take them away! There we go. Perfect! Nailed it. No? Not enough? Excuse me? Oh, I gotta put the thing in. It's like I'm trading for nothing. I'm trading for nothing. Give me that. No, excuse me? 113? Does anyone- does anyone freaking make a fair deal here? Ever? Close enough. Blood for the blood god! Burden adds to burden, speed adds to speed, total speed equals... Oh, speed minus burden! Oh my god, we gotta do math. <laughs> good to know, thank you. I don't know if this is a good deal, but I'm gonna put it on my head. Because it makes us more spiritual. I guess. Alright. Let me get a character treasure title. So we have three spirituality. Uh, and we're not doing so great in anything else other than spirituality. <laughs> What's going on down here? This looks cool. Behold the strange wonder of a city below the sea. Is this like Atl Atlantis over here? Have I leveled up yet? Oh, we're getting there. Bit by bit. There's a lot of merchants here. Look here, friend. I've developed an illusory magic to change even the dullest looking figure into a person sparkling with color. Dazzle your friends, frustrate your enemies, and irritate those who has no imagination. Have, have no imagination. I have copies of my magic formulas for trade. Just take a look at my collection and make a bid for whatever takes your fancy. You want to blend into your surroundings? You want to clash in colors for all to see? Cast your eye on my trade goods, friend. Do you know the hidden meanings of colors in braided shore culture? If you don't, then please let me relate them to you. What if I did? <laughs> Cobalt, the endless color of the ocean, of the poisonous azure wine, or sorrow and of no return, in a word, death. Marble, the ambiguous non-color of the wind, of youth and the unknown, not in a world, word, humi humility. Sulfur, the color of the sun, the glory of learning and culture, the passing of time. In a word, achievement. Cinnabar, the color of blood and fire of passion and of the beating heart. In a word, life. Umber, the bond between nature, the earth, and the people of roots and the mystic words of making. In a word, creativity. And there you have them. Of course, there is one color missing. Get me some pieces of charcoal and I will tell you the lore of the color char. Until then, wanderer. Why do I need to keep going here to see like my EXP bar moving up a tiny fraction? The game really wants me to be excited about that. Can you kill many innocents? Wonder. Total speed zero! <laughs> That's why I gotta stop and rest every two feet. And walk extremely slowly. Looks you up and down. If you have all your own teeth, teeth Sam, please go ahead and speak to the drafting agent. What if I don't? A moment of your time, Sim? We are representatives from the Kasanu Shipping Company. We are traveling the land looking for sailors and ship's officers to crew our latest business venture. Oops, 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 I skipped out. <laughs> you can't click off the bubble. I'm sorry, but you do not fit all the necessary requirements demanded by the Kasanu Shipping Company's hiring policy regarding first-rate ships, crew members, and merchant vessel officers. Good day! Alright. Why does everyone keep going like this? Looking at me? Making making me uncomfortable? I don't know. Maybe that's just how how they uh, how they roll. Oh shit, it's eleven o'clock. I gotta stop. <laughs> I didn't realize it was eleven. I didn't realize it was my time. I was having so much fun. This game's pretty cool. I don't I still feel like I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Um get a boat! No no four AM, no four AM's only cuphead. Unless, unless we find another game that's that hardly addicting that I can like ignore every uh, bodily warning that my my body is gonna be in pain the next day, <laughs> uh, I probably won't do another 4 a.m. I'm gonna turn into a pumpkin. Not till 12. Not till 12. What I wanted to do was make a note of uh, what this person where they told me to go before I forget. Was it this person? Someone told me to go somewhere and I already forget because they don't let you repeat it. Yourself. 
you really have to pay attention. It was someone in this area. They said, go here. Or a boat. And I completely forget where they said. I really think they need to have a... Um, maybe they don't want this for whatever reason to do with the game. Maybe they're trying to encourage you to write things down. But having some sort of pop-up that replays or it keeps a log of the, the conversation that you've had recently would be helpful. Especially for people like me who have no memory. Did you do the ear thing on Charlie? No, Retro. Thank you for reminding me, though. I had, um... I stopped her medication because her treatment's on Monday, and they wanted me to stop her medication for a week before the treatment to make sure that she, um... Her levels are the level, like, that they would be naturally for her, so they can try to figure out what dose of the treatment to give her to hopefully cure her. How do I undo my face? <laughs> it's not the one you were thinking. <laughs> it's a good summary of the Monster Hunter character creator. Can I turn the crowd off? Like, why are they here? That's what I was talking about with the freaking, um... I mentioned that, I think, when you were playing uh, that, that rhythm game, Tiddly, that the... There's a similarity with Rocksmith where it distracts you from the game with the shit that's, like, going on in the background. I was trying to figure out how to turn it off. There is a way in Rocksmith. There's like a crowd cheering in the background when you play well, and it's so distracting. Charlie, have good treatment. I hope so. I hope so. What treatment is this for right after she had the freaking brain tumor? It's like, what is, what's wrong now? <laughs> yeah, it's, she has, um, she has hyperthyroidism. And you, you wouldn't tell considering she's like unconscious on the bed behind me but she has a nodule on her thyroid that makes her thyroid produce too much thyroid hormone so that basically revs up her body and puts stress on other organs like the kidneys and I think it was it was making her puke I think that was partly why she was so pukey um so unfortunately that conditioning cats tends to get worse over time and we caught it really early so I am getting a treatment where she is injected with a radioactive iodine solution, which targets the tumor. It's a it's a benign tumor on the thyroid and kills it, so it stops making too much thyroid hormone. So hopefully, what it does is it levels it out, so she's back to normal levels of thyroid hormone, and she's cured. It has a 95% cure rate, so the odds are good. Um, the only reason I'm getting it done, she had been on a medication that does the same thing, but it's it's not a permanent thing, and I have to do it twice a day. So like, if I want to go elsewhere it's harder um I don't want to go away or anything because I'd have to get someone to put medication in her ears twice a day but I did a lot of reading and they said that the the treatment that she's gonna be getting on Monday has a um, much better prognosis than using the medication so they tend to live a lot longer if they get the treatment than if they use the medicine Go to Western Verve, then Botsaba. Okay, thank you. Let me. There was like a notepad on here, right? Let me see if I can write it somewhere. Was it west of here? Zoom out. Okay, so I am gonna make a note here. Hopefully, it saves this between instances of the game. Like if I, if I leave now. There's a pin. Hope it's a good treatment. Thank you. I hope so too. I just hope it doesn't make her worse. I would feel really bad if she got sick after it. But um, from everything I understand, it's pretty safe. And the only, the worst thing, the very worst thing that could happen from it is she becomes hypothyroid, which is actually what I have. <laughs> Your thyroid's too slow. But then I would only have to give her medicine once a day. Then it's a lot less dangerous for them. Hyperthyroidism can make them very, very sick. So even that's a better alternative than uh, letting whatever's going on with her continue. But thanks for hanging out tonight, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna have the same health issues, Charlie. No, that's not the intense. It's not the intense. Um, thank you for hanging out. This game's cool. I, um, I feel like it would, I would really need a lot of time to get a better grasp on the trading system and a lot of the different abilities and mechanics. <laughs> I, I definitely need to get out of the, the city and meet people. I would like to do that on potentially another stream to actually find a person to uh, 
the experience the game with because that is that is the draw to it for me. Um, are we gonna mana on a Sunday? I don't know if I want to do it on stream unless oh, would you guys yeah. would you guys enjoy watching Age attempt the Monster Hunter Rise demo? <laughs> As someone who has never played Monster Hunter, would that be comical? I'm just like, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck, shit. It's kind of an awkward thing to teach you because it's only, like, the de the way the demo works, it's only, like, 15-minute sessions instead of a full thing. But we can try if you if you want to do it Sunday. I, I think I have to... Wait, is Sunday... Sunday is, um... Oh, also, thank you for the follow. Um... Twin Lance, appreciate it. Um, is Sunday the international? Tiddly? I gotta wake up at 6 in the morning to watch the international. <laughs> so I don't know how Sunday's gonna go. Yeah, no, we can, you know what we can do? You know what we can do, Age? We can stream Monster Hunter Rise on Sunday and then on Monday, Apex. For your stream. Does that make sense? Does that work? Sunday at 6 a.m. Okay. Let's try to be there for cringe for Monster Hunter Cringe. <laughs> Are we gonna do it the next week? Yeah, thank you guys for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed this game. This game is cool. It has a lot of potential. I definitely some things are a little bit obtuse, probably intentionally. Um I definitely can tell it's in early access, but it does have a lot of love put into it with the art and the music and just the overall atmosphere of the world is very cool. Um Definitely would need to play it for more time and find stuff like again like the actual multiplayer part of it to really pass a judgment on it. But I do think it has potential. It's pretty cool. I liked it so far. <laughs> very chill, very chill too. 6 a.m. grand finals. You just noticed the witch hat? Yeah, it puts it on all of them for some reason. She's lumping. Are you lumping? You guys want to say hi to Charlie before we go? You wanna say hi, Charlie? Charlie. Charlie. Thank you for hanging out, Zero. Thank you, thank you. Thank you everyone for lurking and for chatting. Thank you to Howie for all the gift subs earlier. Thank you for the resubs, guys, the new subs. Thank you to the new followers. Thank you for the raid from Frozen Teach. Thank you um, for modding. Tiddly, thank you for being VIP age. Thank you again, everyone, for lurking and for chatting. This is a little bit outside of what I normally play, so I wasn't sure how it was going to go, but I appreciate you guys hanging out. Let's say hi to Charlie real quick before we go, because she is being an absolute nugget back there. Let's see. I'm going to change the camera over so we can see her a little better. That cam. This little potato. Oh. I fixed it. I added a new bub though. <laughs> I, I changed the bub. If you didn't notice. Little bub. Little bub. Look at this little bee. Does this look like a hyperthyroid cat? Usually hyperthyroid cats are like super skinny and greasy and she's so fat. She's so fat. And fluffy. She's an anomaly. She's like me because she's the opposite of what she should be for her illness. <laughs> she should be skinny and greasy and I should be fat. But we're the opposite. She's fat and I'm skinny. What is Gura? I don't know what that is. Do I want to know what that is? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if I want to know what that is. Look at this. Look at this. And what if there is a magnetic field in your area that is making our thyroids wacky? No. <laughs> Hyperthyroidism is really common in cats. It's ghosts. <laughs> like the video. 
She definitely looks like she's seeing ghosts pretty often. Look at it. I don't know what that is. Uh huh. I feel like I may have may have uh, heard that that term before. Lane. She's so good. She's just purring. I just picked her up off the bed where she was winding her own business and she's just sitting here purring. But yeah, I would, um, Book of Travels. Cool game. I, I, I'm not, I'm honestly not sure if it is my particular cup of tea because I don't tend to play more slower, more sl <laughs> I don't tend to play games that are kind of paced like this outside of something like Journey that's very self-contained. Um, experience with the beginning or end, so I, I, again, it would probably need some more time to figure out it would be the type of thing that I would play. I definitely would like to see more of it, but I don't feel any sort of, like, addictive urge, like, I must continue with this game, I need to, to see what was next, which honestly is probably a good thing, because it seems like it's trying to be more of a chill experience. They don't want to make it like another MMO where you're compelled to play. And, uh, basically horribly addicted to the game. You are drooling, yes you are. Oh, gross. Gross, I'm gonna rub that back on you. It's like you're bathing yourself. <laughs> she drools on my hand and then I do this. It's like she doesn't even have to bathe herself. It's great. Drool. I can't pet her like this for, for a couple weeks when she has the procedure because if she drools on me, it's gonna be radioactive. <laughs> she cannot. Gross! Yep, life with Charlie. It's pretty gross. She's a gross old lady, but she's very cute too. Look at this. Look at this nug. Who should we host, guys? Who should we host tonight? Just wear leg gloves and pet her. She'll be like, "Do you want a concern?" Um. Okay. I'm gonna find someone to host, guys. This is this list is definitely not eternal envy history. <laughs> Oh, my favorite Dota 2 streamer. My absolute favorite. Let's see. Uh, no, I'm not gonna host Eternal Envy. I wanna host someone who actually, like, would appreciate me hosting them, if possible. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, is Tonda still going? Mandy's go. Oh, Man <laughs> Mandy's playing Metal Gear? <laughs> no. <laughs> playing Metal Gear Solid 3. I feel compelled to host her because we got the Metal Gear nerds hanging out here. Yep. 54 viewers? On to 60? I gotta find some new people to host too because I feel like I always host the same three people who are awesome, by the way. They're all awesome, but um, I do like finding new people too. Fawn is on, Mandy is on, and Wei is on, yes. I think Wei is playing Final, yeah, fi Wei's playing Final Fantasy, which I... It's absolutely nothing against Way. She is awesome. I just don't like hosting people playing that game because I have no idea what the hell's going on. <laughs> and I feel like most of you guys probably don't either. Unless some of you play it. But you guys understand Metal Gear, right? You wanna you wanna see Metal Gear Solid 3? And Mandy? I will host Mandy. Charlie is so content though, I can't even type. <laughs> yeah, also Ton has been going for like five hours, it looks like too. Did I? I think I might have hosted him last time anyway. Check it out. What's... Er? So guys, if you want to go say hi to Mandy, she is pushing for partner at the moment and would really appreciate your support. She's an awesome lady. Variety streamer, plays a lot of like horror stuff. Right now she's playing Metal Gear. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3, which is a horror game basically. We're gonna raid. When's the new expansion come out? And is it... Is it close to when Monster Hunter Rise comes up in January? Can't imagine having a... Oh, I, I typed Raid Waterface. Waterface. Raid Waterface. <laughs> I can't even spell. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, anyway, thank you for so much for hanging out, guys. Go say hi to Manny. She's awesome. I think you'll really enjoy her stream. And I will be back on Sunday, I guess, playing the Monster Hunter Rise demo with H. <laughs> Maybe. We'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week and weekend. And uh, for those who are new here, I do have a 
Discord and a Twitter if you want to keep up to date. Hopefully this Discord link is updated. I'm not sure if it is. Um, <laughs> I should check that. Anyway, have a good night, everyone. I'll catch you later. And go say hi to Manny. <laughs>